I'm I got over there and I was myself. I just mm-hmm. can't say the N word on national television. Mm-hmm. That's my one no no. If it had been on anything else, you tell would have been a nigga. A hundred percent. All right. We are back, huh? We're back at the nine club, everybody. Today. Oh my god, we've had a very special. Mm. Oh. Special. Mm. Oh. Special mm. guest. <laughs> Mr. Gary Rogers is with us. How are you? Hello, I'm doing all right. I can't complain. You do it. You can head up. I bet we all could complain a little bit, nah, but you know, no. not him. Okay, I'm no. blessed yeah. for real. I'm Mike, you stay blessed for real, for real. Nice. Like, I'm in a great space. First of all, thank you so much for coming by. Oh, I, you, it's man. been this has been a long time in the making. You've been you've been skirting us for a while, man. Damn. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> I ain't got a skirt. I was just like, you doing this, I'm doing this. Like, you look that's far away. I, yeah, that was like another thing that I saw too. And I mm. kind of was like, I gotta. I'm not growing to like be like, oh yeah, oh, I was wrong. I'm just growing to be like, I gotta be with the homies. What do you mean you're wrong? What do you mean? Like, I'm not like, oh yeah, like I looked at that and I was wrong. No, I was right. Oh, okay. Because this is your platform sure. and I had one. And I was like, I'm gonna just let that be over you know i'm gonna do yeah. you're do your thing let yeah because yeah, it's yeah. like i don't know like <sighs> <laughs> did you think we were competing for the same thing hell nah okay never yeah. it was a whole different thing yeah like even like uh when you guys like review the videos and parts mm-hmm. it's like these are my ogs bro these yeah. are the dudes that supported me like back 40 days being oh, an yeah, og man. kelly like i'm not i don't got no you feel me nothing but yeah. if y'all was like Coming for my stuff, like, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a little different. I know, we so had a long time ago yeah, to come on the show, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but it, yeah. but it's I mean? funny because like people do kind of think that the uh, people come after them or start yeah, something bro. new, and it's like it's you know, oh, you you guys have beef with these guys. We're just like humans need to about? get it through their head that it's not that serious. You're not that important. And hey, what is it? Uh, imitation is a form of flattery. That's like, right. That's if right. somebody's doing what you're doing, they respect what you're doing, and they're gonna try to do it their own way so they can get a living off of it. Okay. Just mm-hmm. respect respect it bro like i don't care like just don't do better than us even, bro do better <laughs> no, that means, no 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 do no, better don't everybody do better, do better. No, don't, do better. No, no, don't do better you gotta don't pass do better. down better because you're already older you gotta pass down better if somebody come after you and they if they not in your age group if they kids and they do just let them do better let people win Mm. Let everybody win. Okay. Yep. You feel me? Not, but not like how skateboarders be like, oh, if you win, like oh, if you nigh your dominant, stop winning. Like, let everyone try to win. For sure. How Go funny ahead. is that? That's that in thing. skateboarding, somebody that's killing the game is is gets gets you know the short end of the stick. Sometimes it's a, it's a weird trait. Sometimes, sometimes. yeah. Because it's like, bro, if you came back to this country after your dad took everything from you, and your mom called Rob Deerdick. Y'all had eight dollars in y'all account. He bought y'all flights, let you compete. You don't think he's gonna go out there and skate your ass off so you can mm, feed yeah. your entire straight family, up, yeah. put your sister in college, make sure your two brothers are straight? And y'all wanna make fun of that? Right. Cause he don't wear the pants you wear, mm-hmm. cause he listen to EDM, cause his mansion in Laguna, cause he don't wanna be in the hood. You feel me? And yeah, he came up with the skate park and all that. He lost it all though. Didn't he him lost- didn't him and Damo ask you to move in with them? Yeah, they did at a do tour. <laughs> Man, I, was, I was like, yo, I was like, what'd you say? Did you I was think like, you I was thought like, about yeah, it? You thought I about laughed. It. Like, I, I laughed. You know how you could do that laugh to like act like it didn't happen? And I pulled it off. So <laughs> I was like, ha ha. And he just went and did a kickflip and like dropped in. And you, Nigel thought about it. It. you thought about it, though. Of course. Of course I thought about it. It was like, imagine you, Damo, and Nigel. You hearing all those parties. These- you hearing like girls. You hearing like fast life. And it was like a transition from like what I came from. You feel me? So I was like, ooh, let me go with them. And like, but then I was like, I don't want to do Los Angeles. A thing I'm afraid of is getting lost. And I did that for a little bit. I got lost a few times. Like, how so? What do you mean? I don't like social media at all. Like, when I was little, MySpace got people killed. So I didn't like social media from when I was real little. Mm. Like my sister used to have it. So what do you mean? What do you mean? It got people. Killed? It just like it was like stuff on there. Like people would put they wherever yada yada mm, yeah, and yeah. stuff happened. Okay, so I was yeah, like, yeah, ooh, okay. don't be a part of that. That's the internet is getting people that look like me gone forward. Mm. Don't do it. So when I first got like like on or whatever noticed right mm-hmm. they were like make a facebook i had a facebook i think i had a myspace but i like didn't do much with it i wanted to talk to my friends to go skate i never got involved i never really edited and stuff like that. i was really late to it then i got a facebook to also like hey yo like what are we doing you know like 
the homies are like, hey, get a Facebook so we can like talk or like start a thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But I never really wanted to be in social media like that. Mm -hmm. Then Instagram came around. I was like, I'm not doing that, bro. Like, I don't want to do it. And everybody's like, bro, you should. You're getting noticed. I'm like, I keep getting lost. I started listening to people for stuff, you know? I'm like, oh, I ain't never did this before. What am I doing, bro? But it's all how you approach something, too. Like, I don't, I don't do like a lot of personal stuff online yeah, like no. it's all just like so. skate and just whatever the show and just funny stuff That's like so. my family all that stuff like i, I keep everything like yeah, keep pretty that. low key that's you know? yours yeah that's what sure. people don't yeah, realize can we have something that's for not, ourselves that's yeah, not yeah. people's i want y'all to realize bro your family is not everybody's that's yours right there's only few things that we get keep something bro some people just blast everything. They love yeah. to. They yeah. love to. And then people be having opinions, like talking about people's moms and being disrespectful. Dude, that's crazy. That's out. Yeah. We're not yeah. doing that. And it's like, it's not a tough guy thing, bro. That's your emotions. That's your real heart. That's your real. If you love your parents and your people and your family and somebody say something crazy. Bro, what? Yeah. Anyways. No, I <laughs> so, feel you on that. I mean, on, I, I post, I borderline post some stuff, but like. I think I have so many people that follow me that don't fucking go that route and try to say yeah. some dumbass shit yeah. where I have to protect myself like that. You yeah. know what I mean? So but I don't care about right. what people say unless you literally say the thing and then in the DM leave your address, your mother's address, <laughs> and then you, you say it again. Then it's like, and there's no tough guy in that. I don't care about being tough. I'm telling you, that's how I know you mean it. Well, I should. You, I could, left you could comment whatever you want in, wor in the world. On anything about me and anybody about like whatever, say mm -hmm, whatever you want, mm -hmm. but just make sure if you want me to care about it, just leave your address and your mother's address. <laughs> well, I left uh, I left our address for you today. Yeah, you showed she up. did. And you I did. showed yeah. up. You did. Good. You, you did. did. You met yeah. me. You wanted I, me to I, be you, here, you, and you did. And I love you. Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> it. You came, but you came, bro. I know this is probably go down the line talking about skate line stuff, but when you're doing skate line. Social media must be massive for you because bro. you must be getting hit left and right. And do you pay attention to stuff like that? Yeah, you, bro. Yeah. So what I did was is like when I first started it, it wasn't going crazy because I didn't do it. Like I was just like, oh, I'll post like a picture. I think it was like Luan at Epic Skate Park, a Bob Marley. And then like this sponsor I had um, called uh, Sleeping Elephant. Like I posted like a T-shirt from that. It was early. I had like an Android and all this. I didn't want to get a, I didn't want to get an iPhone. Mm. I didn't want to like do anything that was like the thing. And then they were like, bro, you need an iPhone so we can FaceTime, talk about stuff. I'm like, God damn it. I kept listening, bro. And I got an iPhone and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But what happened for my thing is when I blew up, because I was one of the first skaters with like over, I think I wanted the first skaters over 50,000 followers besides Steven Fernandez and that early group of people. Oh, wow. So yeah. Steven came on <clears throat> Skate Line, and after he shouted out the Skate Line, I went from like 20 to like 60. This is when you were still on Metro? This one I was, no, this is Ride Channel. Ride Channel, okay. Or maybe Thrasher. I, really? I can't remember. It was like 2014. Well, we'll go over that whole yeah, thing, too. But yeah, that but was yeah. the social media for that was yeah. that. So <clears throat> it like put me... Cause he was yeah, on he top was, of the world. No, you feel know I me? Mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so funny, man. Because like I, I met you pretty much when you started yes. to do skate line. Hundred percent. And um, I didn't really know it. I don't think a lot of people knew anything about you. Yeah, Here comes this kid. Mm -hmm. That's stay that way. That out. <laughs> <laughs> but here comes this kid that's just out of nowhere talking crazy, talking crazy right? Mm -hmm. But listen, you 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 had you got your little sponsors. You were trying to get a sponsor me tape. Like you were trying to do the the thing. Yeah. Uh, up in uh, the Bay Area. Yes, I was. How we we have your sponsor me tape here. It's uh, oh, yeah. it's pretty good. Let's watch Josh, it, dude. Put, let's watch check. It. Pull that up, bro. I ain't tripping. Have that. Let's do it. Look at this, bro. Look at little. Look, oh, look, look at little Gary. <clears throat> just Gary. Yeah, just Gary. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what's crazy is I'm like 17 at this point. Are you really? I'm just like malnourished. <laughs> okay. Small as it. Oh, oh yeah. Where that? Yeah. Where, is, where is this? I learned at? backside flips during this line. <laughs> I swear. No, you did it. I, pro I promise Actually, you. It kind of looked look like it. Bro, I pro you could tell. <laughs> like, so the homies was all skating, and I was like, bro, I got to get a trick. I got to get a new trick. Uh-huh. Because I couldn't, because I already had manual kickflip. Uh, manual kickflip in a line? Yeah, and yeah. I can't nollie hill anymore, which is crazy. I had them pretty decent at okay. that point. Okay. I'm five I'm one at this. And I'm 17. Mm. I, weigh, I, mean, I weigh like 101, maybe. Who'd you send but, this off to? Uh, no one. It what was just like we were, I was tiling that because to be early in YouTube, this is what I wanted to title. It. Like, it was like put sponsor me tape. It looked like those were all getting the views. That was it. I didn't use this to get on anything. 
Like, oh, I already was already on the skate, the local skate shop. I had already made these other videos that people knew me what was for. That Orbit or something. Yeah, I, I was making shop. like those videos. So okay. they, everybody's like, oh, okay, Gary, like, you feel me? So I just, yeah. Did bro. you know a lot of other sponsored people being in the Bay? <laughs> no, I no. Ain't, nah, hell no. Nah. What city what? did you grow up in? Oakland. Well, I grew up one to nine, or zero to nine years old in Oakland, moved to Sacramento 10 to 14, and then went to this place called San Leandro. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you were out of the Bay Area at 10 or 14 before yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, so 10 or 14. Oh, okay. 10 or 14, I was out of the Bay. What's Sacramento? When did you move back to the Bay? The Bay at, fi- at 14. Right. Oh, yeah. so you were just out for a little bit and you yeah, came back? I just oh, spent gotcha. out for a little bit. What, what, attracted, spent, what attracted you to skateboarding as far as like when you first started? Like, What, what made you be like, damn, I want to fuck with that? Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater okay. was on my boy's <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah. And I was like, bro, what is this? And then Rocket Power and then X Games, too. Rocket, we hear Rocket Power a lot. Yeah, I, it was my, way before my uh, after my time, but it, 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 a lot of people. What is that? It was the it's cartoon. Exactly. I never saw it either. Like, but a lot of the younger kids. Cartoon. I learned yeah. that trick too. That day, a lot of the stuff that I have in this video, I learned while I was filming this. Like these weren't, except for the manual kickflip. These weren't my tricks. Mm. Like I didn't know how to do these. Like I was like asking the homie, like, bro, film this. I think I can do it. Mm. And that's what like I used to do. Like mm. I was like. I don't know what I was doing. What bro. year is this? Two thousand. This is oh eight. Oh eight. And then oh, that clip right there. This dude was with Knox and Diamond or Knox, and I guess there was like a hardware company that collabed with Diamond. He said, hmm. "This is dude Chad E. Who's my? He's my OG. Mm-hmm. He gave me a shirt, and he was like, and gave me a thing of hardware, and I was like, I'm sponsored. <laughs> <clears throat> and he filmed that crook, and I was like, <laughs> Oh yeah, like. I'm you on. feel me? I'm on now. I'm on now. Like, I made it. Like I got a hardware yeah. sponsor. I'm getting boards from the local shop, but the local shop didn't really like me because I would come in there and be really loud and didn't spend money. <laughs> but that's where you're supposed to go with this kid, that's dude. What skate shops are about. You're not bro. As a kid, Gary, you just bro. go there and hang out. You don't even buy anything. Typical just... Gary, bro. Just gotta go in there screaming, make it all about me and shit. And the dude was like, "Bro, get him up out of here." Bro. <laughs> but where are you getting your product from at this point? You buy, you're buying it. People. So for me, I had this dude named Jake Steinprice. Okay. He used to, he was like in construction. So he would buy mad boards from Deluxe and give me all his old boards and like threes or fours that he had in his trunk. So like the time I didn't see him, he would already have like four boards because he would skate this park called Berkeley. But he would come to Thrasher Park because him and Phil Shaw used to skate there back in the day. Mm. He was flow for Think, the new Jake. Mm. So he would give me Ventures, Classic Spitfires, and um, like Crooked Reel, like whatever. You know, so you get like hand-me-downs, but they're, but they're but like they, they're good. He would only, like, yeah, they still all had to pop. Right. So I was getting those from him for like, from, that was from... Four, 14 to 16. Mm, Did you start skating when you went back to the Bay or were you skating in Sacramento? Nah, I started skating in Sacramento like okay. uh, in eighth grade. I started skating. The homie Ryan threw me a board. I can't remember Ryan's last name, which is weird. I'll be remembering everything. Uh, but then the homie Devin Stone, Anthony Salazar. I remember all the homies I was in the crew. Trino Marcato. This is all our crew back in middle school. And they was all good. Ollie in the stairs doing front 180s and kickflips on flight. And I'm like, ooh, they nice. <laughs> I couldn't do the tricks, but I learned how to ollie when I was six, seven. Out front, I like popped it one time. You know when you do the pop and it goes sideways? Where'd you get a board at six? Kmart. Oh, uh, you got it. Okay. Mom mom's slid me over there one day, got me a board. Skating, in, I was skating in a terrible place. <laughs> Where, you, you know? So I was like, I had learned how to ollie out front. I was like, okay, I could do this. I already like falling. Like, I thought that was awesome because I like wrestling. So I would do like the front. I would want to fall. Like, Jeff Hardy, bro. Y'all remember Jeff Hardy, the wrestler? Mm-mm, no. Damn, Not a big wrestling fan. bro. Yeah. Jeff Hardy would just smack. Like, he wouldn't even land his move. He used to do this thing called Swanton Bomb where he would front flip. But it was cooler when he didn't make it. And he would just go through hell and tables and shit. So I was always into like getting damaged. So I was like, ooh, skateboarding seems fun because I keep getting hurt. But I'm going to eventually like get used to it. Okay. But then my board didn't roll fast. And I was like, I don't like how I'm going hella slow. And all my partners, when they would do one push or two pushes, it would take them from the, the, the three stair to the four stair, which was like our long strip that we used to skate on at our old apartment complex. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So this is, this is six, seven, and eight. Like we have boards. And then eight is scooters came into my life that oh. razor 2000 with the willy bar <laughs> speaking bro. a whole different language dude i have hey, no I'm idea not, bro yeah, so the scooter came in and then i i didn't like the scooter because i was like this is low-key easy 
I could jump the stairs with it. Mm. When I had the skateboard, I can't do that stuff. Mm. When Wait, I'm on a scooter, tail whipping and all that stuff. Nah, hell no, nah, I didn't oh, get that oh, deep. Yeah. I didn't learn to tail whip until I turned like 25. <laughs> okay. When I grabbed the kid's scooter one day, and I was like, I think I could tail whip, so I just did it. And I was like, oh, sure, no, I tell you what. I couldn't do it when I was younger, though. We could have had a whole different Gary Rogers. A whole dude. different. Whole <laughs> nah, you, you would have never had a whole different. I don't like things when it comes too easily. It's called right. scoot, scoot Line. Scoot Line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm not. All right. Let me stop that. I got to go. <laughs> hey, I'm not. If you ride scooters, bro, you're just, you're just a kid. And it's, it's easy. Life is hard as hell. Sometimes you just want to do an easy task and try to get good at it. And we got to like kind of like pivot. Yes, you in the way at the skate park. Yes, you don't look left and right. <laughs> but you're nine, bro. Like, dude, I, dude, I'm going to say something real quick. Right before you got here, when I skated up, I saw some dude pull up right in the intersection. And he had he did a tail whip in the middle of the intersection with a bus behind him. Started pushing like he was on a skate. It looked, it looked like I saw from behind. Looked like he was riding a skateboard. I saw I had, that. I saw that did you guy. See yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it yeah. was kind of crazy. That's it was crazy. the best looking scooter guy I've ever seen in my Pause. life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. We have though. a lot of pauses today. <laughs> it was crazy. But yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. So yeah. I'm just trying to like not hate. On, I'm not trying to accept yeah. that, but I'm trying to like not hate on it. People just be different, bro. When you were doing all the, you know, you, you made the response for me tape, you didn't send it to anybody, but you were nah. you skated for Orbit Skate Shop. Yeah. I mean, did you acquire any any sponsors, like, besides the Bolts? Nah. No. Hell no. Nah. Nobody you, wanted you, nothing to do with me. Were you trying? Well, well, come on, man. You were good. I wasn't. Like, you were, I, you was, know? I wasn't good, bro. <laughs> like, the thing that everybody thought was special is that, they know I never did the trick before. Every time I went out and skated or filmed something, it wasn't like, unless it was a manual kickflip, but my boy Slime will get at me. This is like, that's my brother for real too. <laughs> unless it was a manual kickflip, I don't know how to do the trick. But that's kind of, you're an old soul because that's like us, right? Yeah. When we're out there skating back in the 90s, like we're just doing one trick, filming it, and we'll never do it again. Yeah, Like bro, it was just like, one and done, boom, boom, boom. We're learning the trick as we're filming it. Exactly, right? Like bro. straight up. Yeah, so. Now these kids are just consistent as hell. Yeah, it's yeah. like they're, 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 they're ollies are kickflip. Bro, that's crazy. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now I didn't inquire any other sponsors. Okay. Like I just got that t-shirt from that dude and the pair of bolts. Right. And a lifelong friendship with him. Like, he watched my back in a way that I'm like forever in debt. You feel me? So, mm. so how did how did the skate line thing ever come into play? Because we're talking about early days Metro. I mean, when oh, I get on. Okay, that see, this is another thing I do. Go it's ahead. like I forget the steps sometimes. I remember mm. the story, forget the steps. Okay, so from 14 to 16, skating, and then 16, like 16 and a half. Mm -hmm. I do the Chris Cole kid thing. Like I seen the Chris Cole out uh, in 2008. I seen the Chris Cole at the end of the Wallenberg thing after he won the Back to the Bird contest. Okay. And then like while I'm 16, maybe I think a little before that, Joel came to my local park, the dude that runs Metro. Mm -hmm. He came to my park with this kid, Daniel Dubois. And I was like, damn, how does Daniel not a Nolly 360? How does he not a Nolly 360 at my skate park? Yeah. Is that Fat Dan? Is yeah. That, okay. Yeah, okay. bro. I've been cool with Dan since we was, he was, 14. I only I'm know it's through his Instagram. I've known Dan for like 17 okay. years, bro. He's good, dude. Yeah, as hell. So yeah. even when he was hella little, he was super good. And I was like, oh, Joel knows how to make people good. Like how Jake made me at the local park. You know? So I'm like, because can't nobody skate Thrasher like me at this time. Like no one except for Major Jones, but he had left. So um, 16, Joel comes through. I go to this other park all the time, like 16, 17-ish, called Tennyson. 16, 17, I skate this park called Tennyson Park. Mm -hmm. I go there, I see him with Corey Duffel, and there everybody's like, bro, that's Corey Duffel. I'm like, who's that, bro? What? They're like, he's a pro, bro. He's from the Bay Area. I was like, there's pros here? <laughs> the hell? Like, in our local? And um, then Corey's, like, I started getting with those dudes, and like, I was already like seeing Joel, and Joel was just always hella cool with me, bro. Like, he he gave me like that kind of, hey, I'm trying to skate. But I, I rock with you. Mm. You're younger. I can see you care about it. So he like gave me like an embrace and like a little push up, and I was like, all right, that's cool. That's how I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to let you in, but like let them skate, the older guys. Mm. And I learned that day because my boy Jake, he was just like gave me all the attention because he was already older. 
worked a job, got money, right? So meeting Joe, see, I'm telling skate line stories no, too. Please, go ahead. So meeting them, seeing them again at tennis, and I'm like, damn, like, what's like, what's that crew? And then my boy Mikey Matamoros was like, that's the Metro dudes. Like, I didn't know who they were when they went to. But was that a skate shop or what was it? Was it was a skate shop. Okay, okay. And it was like an early skate shop. They started in like, I think, oh one, oh two, or something mm, like that. They okay, started back okay. in the day. Um, I gotta ask Joel. But they was like, that's the Metro dudes, bro. They got a mini ramp in the back. I'm like, mini ramp? What? Like my mind. <laughs> my mind. He's like, all right, we're gonna start going over there. He got a car, my boy Mikey. We start going over there. Uh-huh. Like that 16 or like 16 and a half, 17, Chris Cool thing happens. I'm telling Joel, like, oh, I was at the end of the Wallenberg video. And like he's like, damn, like you you kind of like crazy. Like <laughs> you like go and then they have premieres and I'm going up at the premiere. I'm like loud, having fun. I'm like, yeah, they landed the trick. Like I'm just super supporting He's like, bro, why are you so fired up? I'm just like, bro, I love skating. Like, I really love this. You know, and a lot of people took it as like, oh, you attention whore. Like, you want to be the loudest, so it's all about you. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, what we're doing is hard as hell. I love that people can land things and get it on video that I know. That's my thing, bro. Like, these people were like, in my area, full-length videos. Bro, I try to get tricks. You've seen that shit. Yeah. I don't know how to make it look good. They was landing and looking all good. I'm <laughs> right, like, right, hell right, yeah. Right, right. What? Mm. That's the homie that goes to the local park. Like You're just hyped. I'm just yeah, hyped. So then hyped. he was just like, man, like everybody loves your energy. And like yeah, I was like, yeah. So he's like, bro, when you come, he never made me pay to skate the ramp. It used to cost $5. You would get a session. Never had to pay to skate the ramp. Mm. I never really bought stuff from Metro because I was already like, I would get like these things called Dead or Alive from Orbit from Orbit for five bucks. What is it was that? like old boards, like because oh, okay. Jake like finally like kind of really started doing his job a little bit more, so I didn't start getting those boards as much. So I would have like five dollars sometimes to get like a dead or alive, or the mm. homies would give me like their old boards and stuff. I was like hand me down homie for real. So yeah, that's how that's that's when that relationship started with Metro. The introduction, to yeah, so, Joel and everybody. Yeah, so well, by the way, hold on, we gotta watch this. Oh, yeah. All your hands bleeding, but you're still Chris Cole. <laughs> <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> hey, Chris Cole, look at the camera. I, oh. I got the picture, Chris Cole. <laughs> That's <laughs> Izzy, ADL Newman. Bro, like a, a couple of those kids are city kids. I didn't know them, but those are all my homies, bro. That's wow. so crazy. Like, Amazing. ADL yeah. Newman is one of the first people I started skating with when I moved to San Leandro. He lived in the same apartment complex as me. And um, yeah, so that, that moment happens and that gets 247,000 views like in like a six month span because Thrasher was new to YouTube at this time. Mm. And they so was like, Thrasher oh, so, put that yeah, out. so. It, Exactly, but it was at the end of Buster Bale. It was at the end of Buster Bale, at the end of the Back to the Bird. But then they, did they cut that part out and put that? No, up they separately? used Just, it. Oh, okay. In the thing, right? So like, but everybody's like, dude, that kid at the end, the kid at the end, the comments. Everybody's like, what? And like, Joel's already doing the YouTube thing. He's like, bro, like, this is so sick. Like, you're like getting like all this love and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, like, what year was that? 2008. 2008. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So then when when. Does he just say that? who came up with the skate line idea? Joel, Joel, Joel. I was already making skits and things. Oh, like, okay, but he wasn't preying on me either. Right. He already was doing it. Like he had won this YouTube contest that made like thirty five bands, and he had bought the camera, the mic, because he wanted to start filming interviews and making little short films and stuff like that. But then all his homies are just they not consistent. Me, I was like, bro, he could tell. Like if I was about to do it, mm. I'm about to do it. So it's he a big was, part of it too. He was like, bro, like, but then I'm like, he he said this when I was 19, and I like had just got this little job, and I was like, bro, I got some money now, like, I'm gonna just work. I was working at Sports Authority. He's like, Gary, like, we can really make something, and we didn't know. He didn't know what exactly. He was like, bro, we could just make something with our energy, because I used to do these um, voiceovers when I was 18. I used to do these voiceovers for this thing called How to Do What. Okay. And it would be like these trick tips where I would just say random ass shit. <laughs> And everybody in our city was like, yo, Gary's crazy as hell. Like, wait, wait, wait. You're taking other people's trick tips and voicing over yeah, them? Yeah, but there was like from the shop. Dudes from Metro. Oh, okay. Because mm-hmm. Me- Joel's already coming up with concepts like okay. where I can fit you in type stuff. Like, Are those like, on Metro? Yeah, they're on Metro. The old it's called okay, How to Do What. Okay, we got How to do what? How to do what, bro. And I'm just saying. And then like one thing that went viral was I said up, down, square and shit. Like a Tony Hawk combo. And everybody was like, bro, up, down, square and shit. Like when I would go to Walnut <laughs> Creek or any of those parks. <laughs> Like this is like all like eighteen. 19. I love how little one liners could just take over, bro. Like, yeah, nowhere. bro. I was just I was hit with that shit. Like it was crazy, up bro. Down square shit. Okay, up so down square is, shit. This is. I think I did two of these. To do what? <laughs> so this is switch great flip. 
No, this is Tyler Shy. This is the other one. This no, is Nolly Big Hill. Hill. Hi, I'm Tiger Woods, and I'm currently not having <laughs> sex. So I'm currently I'm not having sex, bro. My wife is currently not being cheated on because I am skateboarding. And, <laughs> oh, look at my steez when I do my tricks. Oh, man. It's like it's like the Hunger Games in this piece. You got to look up the one with Taylor <laughs> Kennedy. That's what? the one that blew me up. Taylor Kennedy? Taylor right, Kennedy, check. yeah. Let's, let's I knew what Taylor Kennedy is the one. Like, shout out T-Shot. That's my boy for real. Uh, that one did well, but mm-hmm. the switch great flip one, bro, that shit took me up top. <laughs> it took you up. Okay. <laughs> How to do? What? Bro, <laughs> switch great flip. Yo, nigga, check it out. Taylor Kennedy. Bro, everybody's just like, wait, what? Try this trick here's a fucking tutorial for it. Bro, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I got this trick for you niggas. You don't have to pay attention because this motherfucker is difficult. Bruh. And you're going to put your foot. I don't even know where to put my foot. <laughs> but uh, you're going to pop it. And you're going to turn over it. And then you're going to land on it. It's a hard flip. 360 body for real, nigga. If you're just starting, <laughs> you should uh, not try this trick at all. If you think you're good, you should not try this trick at all. If you're hella good, you should not try this trick at all. But if you're going to watch this tutorial all day and night and you're Asian and you can learn really fast, you should try this trick. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out in front. It might be raining outside. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Bro, this is first take. On the Who gives a fuck? <laughs> this is one so take. This fucking shit, all right? So you're going to put your foot on your motherfucking board. You're going to jump up, and hopefully that shit happens. You're going to learn how to hard flip first. Then wow. you're going to learn how to front side flip. Then you're going to stand on your board switch. See, this is a whole new world, nigga. <laughs> you was just regular before with a regular ass hard flip. This shit is switch, nigga. What the fuck you think this is? Nigga, this ain't a game. Because who gives a fuck if you, if you know how to do it? You're only going to land it once in your life, nigga. Look at the trick, nigga. <laughs> You ain't gonna bust it down those stairs because you a punk bitch. Bro. You was a man, you can do it down wow. some stairs, but you ain't no motherfucking man, nigga. You a sucker, nigga. Got hella special and shit from Tony Hawk when I do this trick. It's my special trick, nigga. Up, down, square and shit, nigga. It's like that's the one. That's the one. Bro, like, the took me up top. Speed, I still laugh at this shit. I'm like, bro, what was I, I doing, laugh. bro? Did he have, did this come out before or he, they just filmed a trick tip video and you voiced it over? Bro, or did this filmed? actually come out? They did, I don't think they told Taylor what was happening. Oh, uh, wow. okay. Like, Joel was he like, was he was just like, yo, film a, a, trip tri- a trick tip and I'm gonna do something. I, th- I don't know if he told him, bro, because it was like he really is giving a trick tip. He did a regular trick tip video thinking his voice is Yeah, he's trying to do it. <laughs> and I'm just over there. Amazing. It comes out and it goes, What's good, nigga? And it's his face. Yeah. Taylor was like, <laughs> Uh. You know, and I'm just like, all right, bro. Well, <laughs> sure. What happens when you start doing that? Do you just kind of like, just, I don't know, like, do you just, bro, it flows out? I'm like, in a zone yeah. in my mind. It was like the same thing with like freestyle rapping. Like when I was in middle school, kids used to be like, bro, what? Like, cause I used to do it for like five, 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was really young, my brain can think of all these things, bro. Like all this stuff in one moment, it doesn't take me long to like, be like, all right, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this. Like, yeah. almost how, like, I caught myself with that pause. That's my mind knowing, like, that type of stuff, how right. I remember things. Right. Mm. Who's an enemy? All these things is just, like... That's a special talent, enemy. though. Yeah. I, don't have, I don't have enemies. They don't exist. <laughs> enemies do not exist, children, okay? <laughs> you have to make them up, or you have to give you have to give people that hierarchy to be your enemy. I want you to realize that, that okay? Mm-hmm. You have to give them that energy for that to exist. I don't have ops or enemies or anything like from what that. i'm hearing i feel like joel just said like hey here's a table and a green screen behind you just sit down and like watch a video and the, and that's kind of how skate line started maybe maybe not but that's what i'm gathering in a sense but he kind of like constructed it like hey we should do like a weekly news thing okay. he said it okay he said and you'll you'll talk how you do in the shop on the show okay like how you talk just do that and we'll pick topics we'll mix it and I was like, okay. <clears throat> so I just took my shop talk, lot like on camera, bro. That first skate line took us like thirty minutes, forty mm. minutes, because it was just like, a hey, Tor- Tori Powell, Nyjah, Ryan Sheckler, blah blah blah. You know? Yeah. Talk about it, like their part, like well, you know. And I'll just be like, well, shit, like you know, what I'm saying the whole thing. Oops, hold on. Let's do not a hey, yo 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 yo. <laughs> is this early days of skate line? It's the first one, bro, bro. Hey, yo, if you want it all cr- come crashing down for your boy, you can play this right now. 
I done said some shit. Oh, really? Life was different at this time. True, I don't true, fear true, it. I, it's true. still up. I don't want to uh, take it down. What, 11, 11 years, years 11, 11 years ago. 12, 12 years, years ago. ago now. Yeah. So yeah. the climate yeah. of what we were talking about was a little different. Yeah. It's so now it's, it's... It's a little different. I mean, I'm willing <laughs> to let you play it. No, no, we're good. But no. hey, internet, Twitter, hashtags, I don't care. <laughs> and I... Because... Hey, the only thing... Look, this is the best part about <laughs> everything that sucks about what you did in your past mm. is... I do not care because I don't hate nobody at all. Hmm. A lot of people have secret hate. A lot of people want to do stuff. I did things that I just thought were funny. Right. I yeah. even think on a track of like, hmm. that's offensive. Mm. I just thought stuff was funny because people will laugh because yeah. I was like I was just mm. being funny. Yeah, you know I mean? everybody without even trying to be funny. Like everybody's I was sensitive being, these days. You feel me? Like, Sensi- you know, sensitivity, yeah. but sensitivity is should be respected in one sense. Life is hard. That's why yeah. depression's up. Yada yada. I get it, bro. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. all now we used to not watch anybody live. Now we're watching each other live, and some people are living better than us. So that hurts. True. true. That's why sensitivity's rising. Rising, and nobody's paying oh, attention mm-hmm. to that. Oh, Nobody really even sees that. Like everybody, be like, damn, why y'all so sensitive? I get it, bro. Because if you can't think like me, where I'm like, y'all gonna die one day, right? Yeah. Sun gonna burn out. None of it's gonna be remembered, right? Like you, you can live on that path, or you could just be caring about each moment. Like, mm-hmm. and some people do that. Yeah, I just be like, yo, I'm, I exist, and I'm finna not. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it is what it ain't, yeah. and it could what it can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so you so, said it, it took you thirty minutes to film the first one. Thirty, Which forty-five now, minutes. Nowadays, like, what are we looking at? The 10 last minutes? episode, none. Last episode still took like. Okay, but then some oh, take see, two, three, four. Like, but then when I was see early days of skin line two, I was like. I was inebriated. You feel okay. Me? I was okay. like smoking, drinking, mm-hmm. doing shit. Oh, I early have days. Done. Okay. Yeah, stuff I shouldn't have done. You yeah. know, I was struggling, so it was like, even though I was still carefree, I was struggling. So I was like, you feel me on substance and things like that. So I was like, hey, we up there. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yeah. So they like some of those episodes. I'll get high. They'll take like four or five hours. Oh, you know okay. I mean? Got I'm, you. I'm like smoking. And, Doing smoking wax, and but nowadays, shit, like, what are we talking? Like, Thirty minutes still to to film one skate line? Not, nah, it still will take like an hour or two. Really? It okay, because okay. it's like the thing about me and Joel too is like, we, since there's no script, we talk about hell of other things of life uh, to like okay. get our mind. Spark and then we've done shit. so much mm-hmm. of skate line, we want to not repeat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like. I think that's like what Lil Wayne dealing with with rapping. Like he's just like, what haven't I said? Yeah, that's uh, the so. hardest shit to like go back and be like, did I say that? Already? Well, especially with skateboarding too, because exactly. we all kind of see the same shit going yeah. down, and I got left, tr- right, and center. So, do you have like a, a screen playing while you're watching no. it? So you're just like fully remembering what had happened in that video. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then depicting the jokes about how we felt about it after we watched it in the house. Yeah, okay. Do you go over the same jokes sometimes? What do you mean? Like if you like you, you, you didn't deliver the like you said something that like oh that was I gotta redo that again because I yeah do we, it you better. gotta take a second take you gotta take a safety take you gotta get the first mm-hmm. one we yeah, do right, it in like right. these other things blah 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 like it's like it's kind of like a co- working on a comedy bit yeah, almost yeah. Right. you gotta go you you gotta go work it out at this club then you gotta go do then you got your comedy special yeah I mean it, to a certain degree right so, you're, you're, a certain extent you're that, doing a couple takes well, it's like so doing a thing, trick it's like you you know but comedy's uh, curated yeah skate lines like freestyle still I think a lot of comedies I there's okay, like okay, not okay, a lot yeah. the, the reason why I gave you that look of like ah it's different because like a right. uh, comic like literally writes it out yeah. in a but room. there's a lot of freestyle comics out there too oh, wow. how yeah. many there's not, not that really many, yeah there's really not there's that not many. that they many. do the crowd they're, work they're they do the crowd work they do the crowd work and that stuff works for them so. yeah, but for sure. I, I, I'm not gonna talk it down like yes yes yeah yes so how I got you but how do you so it's all edited afterward like how do you feel comfortable do you see the edit before it comes out or so it's just like that was done. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. I said what I said. It's <laughs> on camera. I gotta live with what I said. Yeah. That was how I felt. That's how we both felt in that moment. Jokes. Joel's always spitting something to me. I spit something back. That's how we do it. Right. He like is like he has comedic timing for editing. He gets that. That's mm-hmm. he's like, important. hey, put yeah. this here. Yeah. Say it like this. Like I'll just randomly be like, blah, 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 and I'll do it too long. I'll go on a rant. He's like, bro, that was hella funny. This is hella funny. Now we're gonna say it like this. He's been helping me construct that for a mm-hmm. long time. He's like. Why did you just say that? That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Some stuff, bro, we said so many things that either he wasn't recording or I forgot over these years mm. that were so pure and so funny. But whatever. So I mean, you made a lot of people laugh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You, oh, like, thank you, man. At thought, first, mm-hmm. hey, when you first came out, man, people thought you were you were coming at him. Yeah. Yeah. People oh, thought yeah. that. And because you were there was nothing like that nope. in skating. Mm-mm. So people were like, whoa, he's 
I wouldn't say criticizing, but you're not saying you're great. You're great. You were just saying something a little funny about it, and mm -hmm. people would take that. Yeah, I mean, every, uh, <laughs> skaters are insecure people. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. in some sense. But you were like, bro. you know. But again, yes. I mean, people were. That's where I, f I think I I met you though was yeah. at when you were first starting this, and people were taking it the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember I came up to you at the Pretty Sweet premiere. Yeah. I think it was Pretty Sweet, right? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, hey, man, like, I love what you're doing, dude. Just keep doing it. And people are going to find, people are going to realize what, why are you laughing? <laughs> He's like all happy. People are going to real, no, people are going to realize finally what you're doing. They're going to get it because the people weren't getting it at first. Cause, but like when you said that, Chris, you were a part of that squad, bro. Like I was raised on you guys mm -hmm. you feel me like Creo tap was key so when you said yo like keep doing what you're doing it was like a short conversation sure yeah feel me but it was like when i got that nod i was like what and then you guys and mark gave me his number mm -hmm, you guys mm -hmm. start sending me back 40 stuff bro mm -hmm. i was in my bro that first box of back 40 like i've had a couple moments that have made me like really like feel something. Mm. And when y'all gave me that, bro, bro, you have no idea how like that kept me alive, bro. That's crazy. Type mm. shit, bro. That's sick, bro. I was like, ooh. Cause we went up and skated, uh we went up and skated with you also yeah. in, in San Francisco. We went yep. out and had a had a good time. Yep. That's funny, like, man. Y'all really... kept me like I was like, cause like obviously like Joel and everything he was doing was so much, but it was like, bro, this is our dude, he's already family. Mm. like skateboarding hasn't really taken me in crazy you know so was that all, all that was all through metro and that's where it all was started yeah, from that all point. metro all that was metro so mm -hmm. look, seeing chris are pretty sweet all yeah. at metro yeah okay, oh no, okay. no this is ride channel because uh, one episode it's only two episodes on metro ride channel bought the show after the first episode oh mm. that quick the first episode went up <laughs> four days later uh joel says hey tony hawk studio wants the show and they're gonna pay us. Show. I did the first skate line for fifty dollars. <laughs> I did the third skate line for not fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> now wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, Hold on. Real quick though. I'm from the hood, I don't talk about money. Okay. All right. How much you get? <laughs> I don't talk about money. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Well let's but, but let's just say <laughs> how it. many where, where they say, Hey, we want one every week, we want this many yeah. episodes. Like yep. there was that, that was it. That's true. Okay. That was it. Gotcha. One a week. Yeah. This amount. I worked four days a month and I was like, hmm. Right. You feel me? Yeah, I know yeah. Tony came up here and started talking about like the Tony Hawk's pro skater yeah, thing. That's what yeah. you did. Like that money. I yeah. was like, oh, yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> never will. Well, never going to. No one's ever going to know. Here's the, uh, I just look, know the smile that I walk in with. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At that time. <laughs> like at that time. Yeah. Well, yeah. anything new that's popping up, right? Like when we came out, like the Nine Club, like shortly after first couple episodes like people were hitting us up like trans world ride Ch like everybody was hitting us up like hey bring it over here and we're just we were like well why we can do it ourselves Type we shit. don't need anybody to, to help us out like we Metro. don't need i don't what are you gonna what are you gonna offer us it's gonna be lucrative for us like 500 dollars an episode like that ain't gonna we can make our own shit we don't need yeah. somebody coming in well, but that was just us exactly and that is very smart mm. trust me at the time, I was like, I did it for fifty dollars. I got to have a burrito, <laughs> and I got a bark card to get there. I thought you don't talk about money in burritos. <laughs> hey. was, you already said fifty bucks. You yeah, can talk, you can talk about fifty dollars. Okay, okay, okay. fifty dollars. Okay. Fifty-one dollars. You'll never hear me talk about it. It's not <laughs> happening. There's a limit. Yeah, it's not limit. happening. You don't know that. There's a ceiling. You feel me? So, and also, I like want to like kind of like just appreciate everything that happened too. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, damn. So after the first episode, he's like, yo, like when the third episode starts, we're going to take a little break because I think we took like two or three weeks off and then it was like getting the contract ready because they wanted it quick. They were just like, bro, we need this. This is sick. I heard Tony Hawk. I told my mom. I was like, yo, Tony Hawk about the." She's like, boy, <laughs> obviously, bro, it doesn't sound real. I'm outside doing drugs. She knows what I do. Like, please, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not the best kid. I'm really not. Like, I was not the best kid. So it was like, when I'm like, yo, mom, Tony Hawk, let me, like, help me do the skateboard show. 
She's like this. The drugs got him. He high. The drugs got him. You feel me? And then, but she never. You know, she didn't discredit or like try to play me. She just was like, "Yo, like you kind of see it when I believe it. You be doing dumb shit. Like there's no way." And I was like, "Mom, watch." So I played the episode. She goes, "Ah!" Like it was like a whole moment. I'm like, "Yo, it's really his thing." And then, so anyways, yeah. So that's cool. But I wanted to tell like people like. If you do have a good idea, keep it. Mm -hmm. Unless somebody offers you life changing money, but you have to un you also have to understand life changing money at the same time. Sure, feel me. Yeah. So we took it because it was like, hey, the skate shop is doing okay, but it can't pay me to live better. Right, it, it couldn't pay bills. Right, you know what I'm saying? I want I want to just rewind really quickly because when we, when we when I when I talked to you at the Pretty Sweet premiere and everything, and you, you were it was it was Skate Line was relatively new, and you were getting people reacting to what you were saying and yeah. not, not not a lot of people were happy with it where were you at at that point in time because you said when you got the nod when i was like yo do keep doing it man like people are gonna finally get it like because i believed it I was y'all not though well, it wasn't a <clears throat> nod i didn't give a fuck about no like bro i'm eating now i'm in i'm at pretty sweet i got everything but it was a crail tap somebody from over there right. the embrace guy stood and took the photo with me he ended the video he shared a part with costin he took a photo with me out front with a tear in my eye like that day changed my life the crail tap dudes rocked with me Mm -hmm. Hey, come back, do a Krail couch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I didn't care about a nod. Like, some people liked it. People did like Skate Line. Other skaters, the kids in the area, I had love. And I didn't do it for love. I'm doing it to, like, entertain if you want to be entertained by it. If you're mad, it's because I'm saying something you might not get. It's like a roast. It's like having fun. Yeah. Some people don't like the roast all the time. Mm -hmm. I got to deal with whatever I put out into the world. But y'all nod hit different, bro. Mm. It was that. Not, it was like watching yeah right you feel me right and seeing that on my computer fully flared comes oh, so it's three is yeah right right mm. seven is fully flared right and 12 i'm at the premiere with the guys that i've just been watching this whole time of like understanding skateboarding don't give a damn about what anyone else thinks but the guys mm -hmm. and they go <laughs> bro, on the crail couch that's too the, that's yeah, a, that's yeah, gnarly yeah, yeah. dude yeah. bro no that's that's very little people get bro that chair. i was like <laughs> you feel me and then it was like a little after that was like that america side of people and like the baker side of people because mm -hmm. baker had a death wish baker has a death wish came out right do you know my first video sorry i don't want to you want to keep asking stuff or do you no i just was yeah, i was just I, I was just wondering my mental was no, no 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 i just was your mental was good back yeah, then it was right? good but i was just wondering because like, you almost had to like win over the industry like because i got it like mm -hmm. I, I know comedy i love comedy yeah. timing all that stuff and i felt like i felt like you loved and respected skateboarding and the skateboarders you yeah. were talking about but i don't think people saw that no. and they didn't see the they all they saw was the jokes yeah exactly that's and what then, I you don't know me that's you, what you I don't thought. know me and i'm, I'm running my yeah, mouth right. they didn't know you at all at that, the beginning like, and the end of the kid? day truthfully yeah. i'm just running my mouth bro like <laughs> yeah 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro like yeah. oh god like it's not i'm not supposed to be like oh it's a deeper message you're supposed to understand it like mm. bro i'm running my mouth yeah i'm on camera talking crazy about people that got hurt People that tried to do the best they can to make a living. You feel me? Look at you on the back. Look at you on the Crail couch wearing the Back 40 shirt. You feel me? That Back 40 was a company that me, Kenny Anderson, and Mark Johnson were doing back then. You feel me? Like, so look fun. at the tiny locks. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. this is back in the day. <laughs> Handed me a Sodi trophy. <laughs> like, you crazy? Nico. You feel me? So I just great. loved... I just loved when you came around. It was something different. It was something refreshing. And it was like, damn, I can, like, laugh skateboarding is fun man let's have fun it's sometimes it gets taken to this serious level yeah. and i'm like dude skateboarding did get way too serious oh my god point. it's yeah. a piece of wood that we yeah. it's, it's a toy like let's have fun together he came in and refreshed it a little he bit he did I, in my yeah. opinion i was yeah. like i was like stoked yeah. thank you appreciate also because it. he wasn't saying anything about me but yeah, yeah I, I mean, that I, was I, uh i couldn't dude <laughs> it was like a thing i remember they asked me like who would you ever talk about and i was like i wouldn't talk about twan mind you i love twan that's like the homie you feel me but at the same time, I was saying, like, because he was going through a lot, and he was, like, fighting people at the demo, so I thought that would be funny and suit you at the time. Mm. But truthfully, bro, I never had nothing bad to say about nobody on Krill Tap. Like okay. I never suit you is like I was. He's you off would, limits. He's uh, off yeah, limits. He's I was like, you were, that's like you're, that's not your favorite skater, or he's from the area. Yeah, 
He from San Jose. Because I just remember you. He's a Bay Area kid. Yeah. <laughs> He's this Bay Area kid that got so good at the craft. You know, the Bay Area is really focused on like speed. Mm-hmm. Don't wax the ledge. It's not tech. Bombing it's not, hills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going fast in a in a bowl. You feel me? Like that's the Bay Area skating. Now. No, so, back, no, back, back forever. Back, back, I mean, in the early, Bobby, early okay, you gotta tell me. Go yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go A and B, that's where like tech yeah, and everything yeah, was. But that was like y'all. That was you know what I'm saying. That was right. y'all. You feel me? That was like like Carol all those. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it mm-hmm. lost that in a little bit. Not yeah. lost it, but no. I I totally there was a different. There was a different mean. generation of yeah, uh, yeah. of people in there. Yeah, because it seemed like all those dudes moved to Los Angeles, and there was like this big gap of like. We're just gonna go fast and grind it as long as we can, which I love to this day. <laughs> turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> That's got transformer right there. Yeah. After his prime came out when he, you feel me. So pause. I'm all so uh, <laughs> so, but then like when you see Suchu, he was being tech. That means like he was taking his time to learn tricks. Mm. That he was doing like MBDs at a in a small body. And yeah. I was small too, so I was like, "Oh, this is possible." And when he kept doing it, it was like, "Oh, he's from here too." Seeing him at the local contest, winning the local contest, I was like, "I'm gonna support this dude because this dude cares about this shit." Mm-hmm. This young kid with this orange beanie, <laughs> even though me and him are the same, we eight months apart. That, that's the homie. Like he cares about it. I used to hit him on Facebook, like, "Bro, we gotta skate. I want to be like that." He's like, bro, it's kind of weird. Like, <laughs> you, like hit me up to skate. Like, I, I live kind of far. I'm like, I get it, bro. Like, I'm young. Like, yeah. you don't know me. I remember seeing you sponsor me tape. This was like early days when, like, uh, dude, like, oh, I got the sponsor me tape. Check it out. Like from Expedition. I was bro. like, that. I'm like, this is fucking hard flip, bro. back tail, backside flip out, bro. <laughs> like what? At 13? Yeah, dude. This is future sellouts. This is the video that took, like, bro, took over. If this is future sellouts, this video took over my life. Um, this is sponsor me tape. Okay, I don't know. Oh my god! Yeah, he is. This is like early, is, dude. This is like before his other. This is how we all thing. looked, bro. Wow. So you were just, you were just enamored by what he was doing and what he was all yeah, about, bro, and, and like, the 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 technical aspect of taking your time and appreciating. Yes, bro. Because it just didn't. I mean, obviously, like if you skate enough. And go fast all the time. You can learn that style of skateboarding. Like you see what I'm saying. Like right. when you skate transition a lot, if you really stick, you'll get it. Tech, bro, it doesn't matter. You mm-hmm. got to take your time. Like and even if you got to look good doing it, you got to look good doing shit. it too. Like mind you, he's like little. Like doesn't have like a bunch of style and stuff like that. But it's like Suchu. Well, at that time, I was like, bro, this is amazing. So it was just that was it for me. Hmm. Like the switch and like all the bro, I I, I learned I, I try to learn all this stuff. I don't think I've ever seen this young Suchu before. Bro, this is right before his future sellouts. Like he's right. filming with that dude. It's Richard. I think that was our film. He passed away. And these are a lot of the same spots. That's why I'm thinking of that video. But how, my boy, my boy Adio Newman, hey, he was like, bro, I got this new let's video. See, That's how it happened. That's how I even found it. The, the, my boy Adio Newman brought home this uh this DVD. He was like, bro, I got this skate video. I don't know where I got it. He doesn't remember how he got it. He just put it on his big screen TV. It was called Future Sellouts. I was like, who the fuck is that kid? And it was Mark Suchu. That's how it started. Wow. That's, <laughs> that's so tight, that's dude. How it, started. it was over. And I'm, and when I found out, because I was like, oh, they got to be from Los Angeles. Like, obviously, he's so good. And then, like, we went out, and they were, I was like, yo, you ever heard about Suchu? I don't know who I asked. That's weird. Who did I ask if you heard about Suchu? And they were like, "Yeah, he's from here." Oh, uh, and I was like, blown "And I was from like, the Bay area. he's from the Bay Area." And I was like, "He from what? <laughs> where at? Where is he? Put at? another notch in the ladder, like <laughs> you're. He from what? Yeah, he from wow. around here." So I was like, "Is this it? Is this Future Cell? Maybe I don't know. He's still small here. I don't nah, know it's not Future is. Sellouts. This is okay. the one that plays the uh, Ghostbusters music." <laughs> Ghostbusters. What is he playing? He skates a Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, so what a funny dude! It's funny because I didn't really know Mark Suchu. I didn't. I wasn't aware of Mark Suchu at this, this point. In what? Like, stop playing, bro. This is like two years later. He got this good. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, Look how tight he, he didn't, is. For for up north, maybe people knew it, but he wasn't. He wasn't. Nah, yet. he wasn't big, bro. It was. No, it was yeah, just like a yeah. local thing. Like he would win all the hometown heroes at home. Okay. He wasn't down here killing it, and then like. I seen him wearing Lakai's. I was like, bro, is he about to get on Lakai? Like, oh, it's over with, bro. Like, I feel like I heard from him from um, Justin Williams. Wop. Stop, Just, bro. Mm. What? 
Like there was a sponsor me tape. It's a little bit maybe Pop, later than stop, this, bro. But like, bro, bro, is he like yeah. fourteen <laughs> yeah. or something, bro. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Jesus, bro. Harflip, wop. I mean, you know, Gary, I can relate, bro. Stop I it. Can relate. Bro. <laughs> Get out of here. You good as hell, but so you yeah, structured, Chris. That shit fired to me. You structured. So that's my thing that I like about your skating is the super structure. Like your nose grind, the fact that you can balance it and keep mm. your shoulders like parallel to the ledge too. Yeah. Like kind of like takes me away. Like because whenever I nose grind, I start to turn over the thing to almost like I want a 180 out. So I do like a weird pop out, which actually helped me learn how to do nose grind pop outs in the middle of the ledge. Mm -hmm. But the way you did it is like a weird, like almost like you and Bebo have this like nose manual like mm, you feel me you too stuck, yeah. they get stuck in you that get, moment you, you, yeah. Yeah, bro. it, it yeah. was like it was like when people have like a special type of thing i like that too yeah like, it's, like it's almost favorite. like we've talked about it with andrew reynolds or or uh neen williams it's like their superpower exactly. right neen williams superpowers heel flips reynolds yeah. frontside flips like there's people that have that right um thing you know? can you go out and switch with manual curb right now um. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Probably take a Maybe little take bit. A, yeah. Yeah. But well, I think well, you can do it. Easy, bro. I think it would take. <laughs> <laughs> you were you talking about. You were literally saying homie, the same thing. That's your man's, bro. He, yeah. He's being honest with you. You believe that? No. Well, I was going to say, man. if you don't think you could, um, like, he would yeah, say that could. same shit about me. He'd be like, yeah, take a minute. <laughs> was it you at the Battle of the Barracks I was playing that I did switch with Manny first try? No, no, no. No. Who uh, was it that? Was it Mike Mo? Oh, maybe Mike Mo. Yeah. That was a couple years ago. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe a few. Couple, couple, couple. Couple, 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 couple. Listen, man, if you get, I'm a skater that I need to constantly skate to keep up. If I take a week off, a month off, I, I'm, I'm, I gotta start from damn near uh, basics again. Like, Bro, I gotta start I take, from scratch. If I take four months off and then skate and I film, I'll get clips. Seriously, wow. sometimes it works like that for Bro, me. Too, that's right? like my thing. Like, I have to not fall for a little bit and I can come back and I'll be like, hey, let me learn. Like, when I did the the trick for our pusher for pink, when I did like the backsmith, like front foot, uh, Back Casper type of thing, right? Okay. I didn't skate. I think I skated three times that year. Hmm. Damn, yeah. dude. And I was like, I was like battling my knee and like battling some stuff. And then I was like, bro, I got to get a trick for pushing for pink for this hoodie. And that's what came of it. <laughs> Do we got that clip? Uh, I don't know. Raj is looking for it. It's like one of my only clips ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should have an iPad. <laughs> you should. Yeah, you know. Wait, no, no, no. It's a uh, look up. Um, Get just ah, it's like something. It's like a Gary Rogers something, bro. Trick Smith something. Just look up Smith Casper flip out or something like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> the only one that only video yeah, that'll yeah, pop bro. out. Like Gary Rogers Smith Casper. I think it's. A, I'm not sure if it's an MBD, but I haven't seen it again. I want to. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm curious now. We have to watch. We but have to find somebody it. texted me a Chaz Ortiz clip. Oh, is this it? Of him doing like back one eighty. Yeah, that one. Ooh, Ooh I didn't yeah, skate, that, wow. bro. I didn't skate like that whole year. And mind you, <laughs> the foot wrap there, bro. Yeah, I, bro. <laughs> what were you doing? You said you had a knee thing, and you had. Yeah, I was like, stuff I wasn't going skating on? much okay. that year, and there was like, Damn, that was dumb. I, when I, I did this, I hadn't skated for maybe three months before that, and then I tried that for three days at that park and got it the third day. Yeah. Dude, the old Thrasher Park was fun, man. Oh, uh, is one? that the Thrasher pack? Part, would, uh, double, double rock? rock? No, that's single rock. That's the, our new one. Not our new one. It's not Thrasher. It's a whole other thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Tell yeah. us about pushing for pink. You've been doing this for yeah. for quite a while yeah. now. Well, idea started in 2014 by this gentleman named Matthew. Matthew, hey, come over here real quick, what, bro? Come here. <laughs> you can't. Oh, you talk. We can oh, talk right yeah. here. You Are go. you on camera? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, that's that's who's, who brought the idea to me in 2014. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How you guys doing? Yes. He's not he much of that. Best friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're this close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you actually catch us, we like the Waynes brothers, bro. I'm for sure Marlon. That's Sean over oh, there. Oh, that's Sean. Okay. Yeah. So, um, basically, in 2014, this kid from a college presented me with a an idea to give back. Um, he had lost an aunt that had breast cancer mm. and I was finally doing something and I had a platform and he was like, bro, you should do something good with your platform. And, um, it was like too expensive to do Avon walks and things like that. He was like, we just do something for skateboarding a little bit smaller, but like, let's just do it. 
And I'm you like, never met him before. No, I had already skated with him. We oh, already oh, have been oh, skating okay. for like, yeah, we okay. were neighbors. Yeah, we already oh, neighbors. Really? So yeah. we had okay. been skating, and then he just then he came with the idea. Got you. Got so you, we already got, got, got to you. know each other. It wasn't like he just found me. He was like, oh, Gary Rogers, blah. Well, you like, don't know. You already, don't know. Maybe that. Sometimes, that, that yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. hey, some some people do that. Yeah. Even if he does do it, it worked to plan. Okay. And it's <laughs> me and him have helped a lot of people, so it's all good. Sometimes people were meant to meet. So oh, we're just skating, being bros. He's just going to college in the city. He lives down the street. Um, and then he's like, bro, I got this idea. Like, we should do this thing, right? And um, his, you know, he's done with his on things like that. I'm like, I give him like the yeah, like I got you, like, cause I'm like, that sounds so good, but bro, I've been struggling my whole life. I'm finally getting to skate and do these cool things. Like, I really want to do this, but I'm like, let me enjoy my life, right? My auntie Gina passes from cancer mm -hmm. a little after, not breast cancer, just cancer. Okay. And it like put me in that thing where I hit him up after he gave me his number. I was like, bro, like, let's do this. Like, let's do what you was talking about, bro. I'm going to go over to Deluxe. Mm -hmm. I know this dude named Jim. He's like, I know Jim. What are you talking about? You know, he's like, we, he, he, for me, we just real skaters. You feel me? So he's like, I'm thinking like, yeah, I'm putting them on. He's like, bro, I know Jim. What the he's like, just go to, let's go. And then we go over to Deluxe and present it to Jim. And Alex had just stopped his um, cancer type skate. The roll and it, The Rollathon. Yeah. And it was down here, so he was like, "Let's do one in the Bay Area." Who was doing the Rollathon? Miller, mm -hmm. Alex Miller, who oh, I who I don't play about by the way, at all. I love Alex Miller. Okay, that's my day one. I love okay. Alex Miller. Okay. Anyways, oh bro, don't get it, Kelly C. Get up! No, don't give him a mic, bro. No, please, I'm spitting everywhere. Don't give him a mic, bro. He's crazy. No, like no, bro. He be doing no nah, that. Oh, bro, that nigga crazy. No, 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 please. <laughs> Get up, bro. Sit over here again, please, bro. He's right. He's nah, right. don't he's give him a right. hardboard, bro. That's why he don't come on camera, bro. This man, <laughs> you know. Like, oh, I was like, hey, he's, hey, he's, he's, like, God. he's more behind the scenes. No, on God, bro. On God, bro. People don't make me laugh, bro. Like, I can't. Like, people don't be funny, bro. Like, nah, motherfuckers don't be funny, bro. Like, people be trying, bro. That stupid ass bitch, bro. I hate this nigga with my heart. Bro, wow. this thing. Oh, Gary's way funnier off camera. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> you guys was... saw when he came in here. <laughs> bro, bro. All right. Anyways, yeah. Just don't put him on camera. I hate him. Just get him off. <laughs> He's here, man. man. He's here. I'm just gonna chime in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fact check. I'm so then. bad now. Okay, because y'all don't understand, bro. Stop fucking with me, bro. Stop it. Stop. Don't I'll do it. Quiet. Don't do it. All right. Pull, you guys, pull up a chair right oh there. Huh? No, <laughs> hell right here, Nigga, I just start sweating this shit, bro. Like now, oh man, my match. All right. Anyways, so 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 we go, go over to Jim and Jim's like, I love the idea. I want to do something up here. Then we're like, Yo, where should we do? We didn't have a space. He was like, Let's go over to Waller. They close the streets on Sunday, oh, so yeah. we could okay. take this this skate to the two and a half. What was that? Two point eight miles, Matt. Our it skate was, to the beach. It was about three miles. It was about three miles. So that that is happening, and then we get it because we wanted to get a five mile, but mm. there's nothing long enough. So okay. we're just like we'll skate to the beach and get everybody out. Okay, bro, it worked. It like went super well. We didn't get permits or anything. That's good yeah, though. We yeah. got kicked out every year. Really? Kicked out every year. Every year. Every year, and then we'd be were like, "Are you doing right, the same spot every year?" Yeah, we do it at Waller. Every yeah, we did it okay. at Waller every at year. Waller. But then, as soon as they would kick us out, it was like a blessing. The time they would kick us out, we were already about to leave anyway. Mm. They were uh, part of the okay. plan. They had no clue. Yeah, they were all the part of the plan. We wanted to have our pop up as long as we could. Yeah. yeah so yeah, what yeah, we yeah. did was all my sponsors or anybody that I rock with would give us merch, and we would take seventy percent off. Mm -hmm. Just because I wanted to give back to kids, so it would be in exchange for donation. Okay. If you bought your favorite hoodie, skateboard, wheels, that trucks, went to the, it went to the, the program. Cost. So, okay. And, then, and then you get to skate with us and like be in the video and everything like that. It was like a whole moment. And kids were like, yo, what? So then we did it and it worked. Mm -hmm. And now, you know. We've, and what we, year was that? That was in 2015. Yeah, first 2015. one 2015. And were you doing all the back end stuff, like trying to prepare everything and, yeah, and get I everything? Was, I was in school as a graphic designer, so one of my projects was like design a brand. Get closer to the mic, closer. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of my projects was design a brand, uh -huh. and the brand I decided to design was like a nonprofit for like the skateboarding version of the Avon Walk. This was before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was before. Yeah. But I, I was friends with Gary. I was like kind of going between LA and the Bay Area because okay. I was interning at Low Card, so I would just kind of. Flip back yeah. and forth when I had time, oh, and we okay. all had the same pandas already. So yeah. when he came up, it was already like it was I already knew, fam. I knew his valley pandas already. So mm. it was like okay. Yeah. yeah, once I finally moved there, I was like, I should try to make this happen. Like, I know Gary's relationship within the skate industry, and I know what he could do. So I was like, let's, yeah, let's try it out. And That's what it is now, um, at first we were just giving a hundred percent of our proceeds away, 
to the Keep It Breast Foundation. It was before we were like accredited. Okay. And then once I learned more about like how nonprofits work and we got all of our stuff in order, we started uh, Meals on Pink Wheels and we give away completely free three months worth of meals to breast cancer affected families. Wow. So now you are, before you used to donate it to a charity, but yeah. now you are yeah. the charity. Because yeah. we didn't have a problem. I said like you started Nine Club and you're thinking like, why would I? Right. I could do something could... myself and make that grow and uh -huh. hire people and get to the point where we have another sector of Fact. an idea. So you're a nonprofit? Yes. Got you. Congrats to you wow. guys, bro. Thank that's you, man. really. Both Thank you so much. I wonder thing, if that's, uh, I wonder if, if you have, because YouTube, you could, you could, um, do fundraiser videos. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you have that on the front, on YouTube, the fundraiser stuff? No. no. This oh, is you gotta... also like, I've always had, this has always been like a passion project. Okay. I've always had either school or a full time job. It's gotcha. never been what we did 100% of the time. So, like, there, any idea that I hear, I'm like, oh, yeah, I definitely haven't tried that. Like, mm. what you've seen is what we've tried. Yeah. So okay. I'm okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So, uh, 100%. Sick. So, yeah, now. So you've been doing it for a, a while yeah. now. About to be ten years. And you, that's why you're years. here in town is because you're doing one up in Mount, Mount High. Hi, Mount High with Volcom, yeah. So Volcom's gonna. They already were having an event that they do called Sick Day, and mm -hmm. they just want to add us to add it to us and donate to the nonprofit. Amazing. Nice. Because my thing is like when we started it, this is like another purpose is like we should have events because it should be fun to give back. Mm -hmm. Like you should have like a like a good time giving back. Look, I got free little Dre advertising yeah, on the Dre. thing. We lit, we got clout, <laughs> baby Dre. <laughs> baby Dre we're looking at the website right now. Yeah, I'm just saying. So check I saw out, the man. last one you did was down here in L.A. Right? Yeah, that so, one with little up ledge. Oh, that, in, that yeah, little, in that little alleyway. Oh, yeah. yeah, was that with guests? Yes. Okay. So that was with guests and the Hoxton the Hoxton Hotel, and then we also did with the Belasco as well. Um yeah, so that was like that was to like switch it up a little bit because sure. we were doing that festival style. But we realized what we really want to do with that festival is give kids a headlining show with really really big artists that they don't have to pay much for. Mm. You feel me? Like we want to give you like everything, but you don't got to sit here and pay like a Coachella and or Rolling Loud price, and you can get decent artists come out, have fun, skate, do the whole mm -hmm. thing. And we got to get a little bit more behind that. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, JP right. Morgan Chase, Apple, Google. Tesla, all the big corporations, Lyft, <laughs> Tide, Bleach, <laughs> Clorox, Lysol, Coral. Moderna, get behind us. <laughs> okay, yeah, and Pfizer. we get to Pfizer, yeah. the homies. Okay, and uh, <laughs> they get behind us because it, that just like our ultimate goal. So we we did that to give it like that backyard feel again. Is that why we did that? Little is it? Is it? I'm gonna ask you because it, is it? You're the back end guy. Is it easier to get people to get behind it, like big companies like that, or is it harder to get big companies to get behind a, a organization like that? Um, it's in the middle because they yes. want the voice. They they they. But want you have it. the voice. No, right? I don't. I don't. No? Because when we first started, after we got our 501, to pitch it, my algorithm was like, you don't use social. You don't do this. You don't do that. Companies, that that's all they understand now. Okay. So somebody in there is anywhere between 42 and 60, and they think like, well, the kids have to look at it, and the comments have to be. Mm -hmm. I would feel like big companies would would, would are, are almost looking for stuff like that. They definitely, they are. The promotion comes out. Like once we start, once like people see Tony Ox yeah, get closer. Oh, once people see Tony Ox getting downtown, then companies yeah. start. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And like, okay, but we always reach out first. Yeah, like we tell them the idea, but I think it's just it's hard to it's hard to comprehend for the mm. most part. Like Clorox is like, wait, I don't understand yeah, how we could like how get this make sense for us. Why does this yeah. make sense? Well, do you have like a pitch deck to show? All yeah. Them? Okay. Okay. Our decks look yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, we kill it. <laughs> <laughs> so the companies always want to rock with us till they like look at like the skateboarding or the social media stuff and they need them this and that and i get it mm. i get it right but bro who's gonna this is what i want to tell big business go ahead i don't like lebron james at all i like him as a father as a black man and a human as an athlete and basketball player i don't give a damn but one thing and i don't like nike Oh, fuck them bro damn bro the whole corporation phil knight his family the people that whatever i hate them what, is this because you're a warriors fan nah okay, okay. yes <laughs> no 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 i i just um i'm i'm really big on loyalty 
So that's why I have the LeBron I, I problem. Understand what you, I okay. understand. Okay. So what's the problem with the, it? The, pro the truth is what I want to say is the best thing that Nike and LeBron ever did or the thing that Nike did is they got behind him out of high school. Mm. They got behind him on the come up, mm -hmm. not on the mountaintop. Sure. You feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why he is where he is today. Companies need to get behind certain people on the come up. I feel that. F the big yeah, numbers. Yeah. Mind you, he was huge. He was on the front of the magazines. He's a big, but you don't know how anybody's going to be in that league till they get to the league. You got to take back. And they gave his ass a shoe up front. That's the only time I've ever agreed with them. Mm. Other than that, they just, we're not going to even talk about it for real. Unless you really want me to get into it. I just. I want to hear a borderline of what you're talking about. I don't like, sure. I don't like the ethics. Yeah. It reminds me of a lot that's already happened in history. I hear you. As a whole business, and y'all run everything. Y'all, they just literally have a thing with a factory full of kids, and you want to get into it like, oh, sweatshops. That don't matter. That's how every shoe company does. Yeah, they might, but then how y'all even project yourself on the outside of that mm. garbage? Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't want you to exist. I'm not a hipster. I don't believe in. If you empower, I love when people empower. <clears throat> I love that. I love when people are on top if they deserve it. Go ahead and win. Like my thing with Adidas, I don't feel the same way about Adidas because Adidas always did come up people, interesting people. You feel me? Mind you, Stepan Janowski taught me how to tray flip at Castlemont Skate Park. He told me where to put my front foot so I could flick it. Then me and him got in our little thing when he said some stuff in an interview. And it's a little different, but I love Stefan today because me and him talked about it. Mm. But I'm glad he won. I didn't even know. So I'm glad his shoe hit. That. He wasn't he wasn't supposed to be the guy. I'm glad his shoe hit. I'm glad, bro. Well, he 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 stuck with it. His guns, though. You That's me? why. You feel me? I'm glad his shit he hit. He could have had some other shit. I'm glad his shit, shit hit in the way it went and got the bread for it. He's supposed to. I'm glad that that happened. He had to fight I for that. He, yeah. You feel me? I don't, like, I don't like them, bro. I don't like Phil. And I don't like none of them. It ain't got nothing to do with just SB. Mind you, that whole thing is something I was taught later about skate shops and like wanting to make sure that the I don't really like when the little guy can't win too either because I was oh, always yeah. the little guy. I got that issue with them as well, but I don't like them. I don't what like the whole thing because for what, bro? Why are they that big? What about the Jordan? You saw the jo Jordan I love Michael show? Michael Jordan. Yeah. Bro, Michael say. Jordan. <laughs> Michael, see, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Michael Jordan took the swoosh off on the third shoe. He took, the, or on the second, he took the swoosh off. It became the jump man. That logo is somebody that looks like me. That, that, that logo stands for somebody that Literally, bro, worked his ass off to be the best. Got his ass beat for seven years straight on a losing team till he won. Mind you, Magic had to have his problems. Bird had his back issues. He never got to beat those guys, but he wanted to beat those guys. He didn't want to run away from them, bro. This is And he got Jordan. I wear Jordans all the time. Mm. People go, that's Nike, though. No, the hell it's not. It's a dude that was like, take your logo off, put mine on there. Did you, you watch can, that you movie? My, Did you watch that movie? I haven't seen it yet. Dude, oh watch. God. I need to. I need to watch Air, right? Because mm -hmm. then you'll be like, you, the, like I mean, I'll, it took already, some convincing already, of him. I already to, back him. Yeah. But even the dude, even the dude, what's the dude name that helped him get the deal? I can't remember the dude's exactly, name. Exactly, bro, but Phil Knight get all that credit. Oh, the guy who uh, designed all the that, shit. That did uh, the whole Matt shit Damon? and made, made <laughs> Nike what it is today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't remember his name, bro. We don't but remember his name. They say his name in there. But, exactly. But they, they say his name in the movie you just told me about, but, but I, you can't tell me to do. And that's the problem I have, bro. Yeah. It just goes over, and it just looks like this other dude's responsible with this swoosh, and none of your shoes hit, except Air Force Ones and maybe Maxes and mm -hmm. a couple, but you made 100 shoes, and they don't hit, bro. You don't do nothing for no, like, you're not as big as you're supposed to be. You just was there. And luckily, somebody was winning championships and your logo was all over the place. Luckily, bro, but. But ah. he changed the game for, like, athletes. Oh, yeah, uh, whole uh, thing. In, athletes in general. I hate Nike, bro. I hate them shits, bro. I'm glad. Hey, if you on it and you getting your check, shout out to you, bro. <laughs> yeah. And you doing good and you feeding your family, shout out to you. I want you to continue to eat. If you over there, you blessed. Do your shit. Stay to, like, okay. Go ahead. Don't stay away from Matt. Stay away from me. Okay. <laughs> solid, yeah. solid human being. I can tell. I yeah, can tell. He's a good Just guy. by your demeanor, you no came doubt. in. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Okay. Okay. Just okay. Make my you skin should, crawl. Bro. You should like a little bit. I had to get that out of there real yeah. quick because I know something's going to come up where might as well, bro. I just hate them. I don't like how they win. Mm. That's more behind it, too. I wish I could think about it right now. I get frustrated when I think about them. Mm. I hate it. It's not like even the taking skaters. Like, obviously, you got to pay the skaters to be good, yada, yada, bro. I get that shit now, too. But 
be with the come up, bro. I'm trying to tell that to big companies. Like, be with the come up. Create heroes. Invest in people. Stop investing in who you like. Oh, he's got the followers and the attention. But that kind of goes back to, like, why skater-owned brands kind of get pissed off at, like, Nike and Adidas coming in. Because, yo, we did this because we did it because we loved it. We we started with these people and grew up big. Then it got big enough to you guys to come in and steal all our guys. That's backwards, too, though. Mm. What do you mean? That's backwards, too, right? Like, the whole, like being mad that the other people came in and just made shoes that have level more levels of comfort have good stitching can pay the guys pretty well like the yeah, skater on the I mean, skater on dudes you feel me and that's who i try to ride for but we got a couple backwards ideas we do bro none of us went to college for this shit mm-hmm. true none yeah. of us learned business we just was like yeah. bro Okay, it costs this much to make the mold. It costs this much to do the shoes. We get the loans. We do the thing. We'll pay our guys. Sometimes too much money. Sometimes we gave our early heroes with the skater on stuff too much money and messed the business up later. Mm -hmm. We didn't understand we weren't supposed to give them that much or not have no investments or anything for later. Like none of them shits gave out health care. You know what I'm saying? Like we we messed our shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like the skater, the, the big corporate dudes have a lot of that shit figured out. They have a lot of it figured out. They still don't. I don't think they have healthcare plans with the the shoe deals. <clears throat> no, and shit but they can now. pay them. They can pay they them way pay, more though. They pay you well enough to yeah. be able to structure your life. You feel me? And usually yeah. agents are closing those deals now, so they make sure you doing all your shit now to like protect it and yada yada. But mm-hmm. the skater, but, we can't sit here and be mad that other people. Yeah, well, I, there, understand, I understand. But for there sure, was but, a point in time yeah. where all the skaters yeah, were bro. eating. They had shoes. They had colorways. Yeah. They had. I mean, it was from it the was, skater-owned businesses. It, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. it was popping. Yeah, at hell one yeah! Point, and, you know? and and that you know with this roller coaster that oh, yeah. we in, it's not always going. And that's a for, big problem with skateboarding too. Is the roller coaster? Yeah, it's not it home. is down. It is up. It is down. It is very. And for even a big skateboard company, when it's down, mm. they feel the most hurt yeah. because they have the most employees. They got the most rent. They got yeah. the most product. They got the big dogs. The big yeah. dogs. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I, on, big dogs is just like just a big skateboard yeah. Com- yeah. Uh, big skater skateboard company. Yeah. Yeah. It hurts, man. You know, yeah. I don't think people realize. But that then type even of on shit. that, on your note, like the the, the Nikes of the world when they barely get hit they start to you know shuffle some shit because it's not because they're smart right they're smart though that's another thing is like as a business they're super smart that's why it sucks that they cut all those dudes they don't have to but they understand like if we don't we will see it one day Mm. like money the way money works bro you can go broke (laughs) real quick you feel me they said it's easy to get it hard to keep bro you will lose it all no matter if you got billions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. MC Hammer lost 30 million in like two well, he years. He had gold of, toilet seats. But it, it, that's what I'm saying, bro. $30 million is chicken. Yeah. If you got, <laughs> hey, you got, a, yeah. you got 150 people on payroll and like, you paying them. Yeah. You Not just me? one, it just a couple real, You feel me, bro? Few, bro. <laughs> but I, hey, that's 30 100%. million hots, bro. That's 30 million hots. You're supposed to be able to keep that. Mm-hmm. That's how you right. think because in our head, we like, hell no. Nah, what the hell? I don't need no gold toilet helicopter. But you feel me? Like I gotta protect my money. I come from the streets. I got a lot of anyways. So, I mean, to me, a gold yeah. toilet could be an investment. But I mean, it's not. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> this thing. It's gold. Is crazy. What do you mean? We're gonna melt it down. You gonna melt down the toilet and wear the toilet? You gonna wear the toilet later, Look, motherfucker? We got MC. This is MC Hammer's turn a, toilet right here. You gonna turn it? You gonna turn oh, that toilet into toilet. some blocks? Look, there we go. You gonna turn it into some fucking blocks? He Look, is with some gold. Y'all blocks. just Google gold toilet, nigga. He's that, got extra. That air freshener and that candle wasn't out when MC Hammer was making music, nigga. That's not the current. That's a new. No, no, this is MC. No, this is MC Hammer's guest. Guest bathroom and that don't even look right. That's that, not that MC even Hammer House. That no, you that's you can't, not you can't MC have Hammer a, House. A, that's a man house with two things no. of toilet paper ready. No, this is a fake picture. That, Y'all that just looked up gold no. toilet. That that's a like new ass photo, but that's the new Lysol, bro. That's not <laughs> old, bro. That nigga didn't have money during that Lysol can, bro. No, though, I'm man. telling you, gangster, that he didn't have that candle. That is an aromatherapy <laughs> candle. He did not. That's oh. new, bro. I think he's got the appropriate amount of toilet paper rolls. I don't think that's MC Hammer's house. It's probably not. Okay. I'm just okay. wondering what he did with them. What? I don't know. With the toilets. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta use them. Nah, they came and repo that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1,000%. <laughs> like um, we'll get Hammer on the show, man. We'll find out what happened yeah, we got with those toilets. The, main, the bastard bedroom toilet on his wrist. What? We got the MC Hammer toilet jewelry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Facts. Oh, we got oh. to- okay. <laughs> this is it. Broke down. <laughs> Broke down. I got a piece of this. I got this toilet handle right here. <laughs> toilet handle. I got it's the, a flush. You know, the little hole in the inside mm. right there. Oh, that is. 
That's, that's raw. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let, let's go back if we could. Go ahead. I want to talk more about the transition from Metro to then Ride Channel, then to Thrasher. Phil Knight, I'm sorry about your family, bro. I didn't mean to come at your whole family. Just you, <laughs> just you, gangster. My bad. Go ahead. We can still go in on the Nike set if you want to. A little bit, but okay. it's like, I'm trying to get like my mind around like the other things to like, get my message across. Is It just feels like uh, all my favorite people are a part of it, bro. Mm -hmm. P-Rod is my hero. Mm -hmm. I love Paul Rodriguez. He's Shane O'Neill is my He's guy. Great. Bro, I wanted I wanted Janowski's for prom, but my mom called Metro and said Ginobili's, and Joel didn't know, <laughs> Joel didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. Ginobili? Yeah, because he played for Manu. Yeah, yeah, Ginobili. He played for the San Antonio the San Spurs. The San Antonio you could have almost yeah. been wearing Manu Ginobili shit. Yeah. Exactly. She was like, she was like, bro, bro to prom. He didn't make nothing, okay. but she was like, hey, "I need some Ginobili's because that's all she could think about." Because I kept saying it, she tried to order them for me. Like I, you know, mind you, like I wore Nikes, I did that stuff, and I started hearing about the industry and like he's got a good three. Man, was amazing, bro. Yeah. He has five championships. Are you there crazy? You yeah, <laughs> this is a legendary yeah. dude. But so <laughs> got a good three. Try to throw that shit in there. <laughs> he threw that shit in there real brief. I oh, respect man. it. Anyways, like I wore Nikes in the early days. You right, feel me? right, right. And I stopped talking about them in recent because it was like you give them a platform and like you say all this hate and the dunks doing so successful and there's all these guys I like shoes and they'll separate me from them and all this other stuff. Like it's not that. If you wear your dunks, I support you. If you're doing your shit, you gotta put your swag on, go ahead. I'm not trying to tell you take them shoes off. I'm talking about the business. I don't like the business. I don't like mm. Nike's business. Mm -hmm. They don't deserve to be where they are. It's been like it's like that shit when Kanye was trying to rant. But he sounds so crazy that it's not making sense. It's not as sick as we think, bro. It was made up and fabricated and delivered to us that they were this really powerful brand. Bro, the shit still feel like another shoe. It's not more comfy. It still rips. It's like, it's not a godlike thing. Now, when they made the Zoom tray, you remember that shit? <clears throat> Bitch was indestructible. Never made a pair of them bitches again because <laughs> them was, shits used to last six months, even if you was kick flipping yeah. every day. But I mean, that didn't look the coolest shoe. It though. didn't look good either. It looked like, <laughs> hey, it looked like a National Geographic picture of like a duck foot. Hey. It was weird, bro. <laughs> but I think I think if you do look into any big business under nah, nah, a microscope, nah, nah, nah. well, listen, let me finish. If you look under any big business, my, I don't, I don't think, I think you'll find a lot of stuff that you don't like, you know. But bro, I don't got the time to look. No, at no, no, I know. But light bulbs, Nike, for instance. Nike Lightbulbs. came over to my lifestyle and I don't like they. Oh, business. no, no, yeah, 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 for sure. That's it. Right. It's not even like, bro, every business is fucked up. Everybody, bro, big people, you got to be evil to, to be that big. Did you you know got to have the wrong things going on to be right. rich. That's why you don't know no, we don't know no mega billionaires. They not in our friend group or come around. Mm -mm. They stay detached from everybody and they own yachts and shit that they don't need. It, it right. happens. But I mean, it's not just them, bro. Speaking speaking of this shoe right here, That's we were not talking bad, about. bad, actually. <laughs> See, that's not bad, bro. Did you know? Here's a fun fact: the light bulb companies back in the back in the day made light bulbs that would last years. They would yeah. last a long time. Hell yeah! And they said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" No, hold someone on, came in on. and said, "Yeah, no, no, no." no. Yeah. The, all the light bulb companies got together and said, whoa, "Whoa, okay, we need to make a light bulb that lasts a month yeah. or whatever it is." And exactly. so they 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 scaled back all the little things so mm -hmm. that light bulbs would burn out very quickly. Yeah. And Smart. same with like pantyhose and a lot of these. Hey, weird, the homie that came up with companies, toilet bro. tissue. Yeah. <laughs> two ply or one that <laughs> any, okay. whoever came up with toilet tissue is up like ridiculous bro straight up that nigga hit yo that is so gangster bro like yo like <laughs> do you yo. fold or crinkle do i i fold okay what do you mean I crinkle fold. well you just mash yeah. it up and don't you know, <laughs> you know, crinkle you gotta fold you it up like, it's it gotta up. be nice yeah, yeah you, 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 yeah, you kind of get, get it together I you fold, know what i'm talking bro. about the day huh Bidet. Oh, you got a bidet, bro. Oh. I, I just got one recently. I had to take it back. I got to get a different one. I want to get it. My my wife tried. Her, she tried her best, but I'm a, I'm I'm being sold it wasn't onto that, the other it side. It wasn't that power, powerful or what? You she need, like a, you need like a pressure she washer. At Costco, it wasn't the right one. Yeah, okay. I had to, I got to I got to get the right. You need one. like a Shout pressure washer. Days, bro. You didn't get it off Timu. I didn't get it off Timu. <laughs> I'm, sure I'm sure they do sell it on there though. Real talk. <laughs> yeah, nah. Just uh, just like on that Nike too. Sure, it's go like, ahead. It's just. Nah, I'm just saying, like, that's where it comes from. It's just like, bro, you over here, I already don't like you. Mm. I think it's because I couldn't afford you as a kid. 
Right. And then I find out how you are as a business and the whole world is just so enamored. Kids spending ten thousand dollars on dunks that got a fake name and they got hella pairs and it's like the same thing they do with jewelry, bro. It's like mm, the same thing. Like right. diamonds aren't really that expensive. Diamonds like, are mm-hmm. not expensive. At all, bro. They come you feel me? And then when you think about the diamond game, you're like, mm-hmm. yo, like, oh, do you want those or do you want lab work? Nobody got was treated like a slave. You feel me? Like, well, that's what I was saying. Start, with, the, with any big business, you look exactly, into bro, like you're not going to find roses. You're not going to find. Nah, you're gonna, I gonna, still it's gas, all hey, dirty. I gas my car up every day. Right. You no, know, the things that happen to get mm-hmm. that oil. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. sometimes there's like little pieces of the game that you got to play. There is. Mm-hmm. I got to be real about that. But I'm telling you, bro, the shit I'm talking about. We weren't influenced on gas. That's how our car goes. You feel me? I mean, at the end like, of the day, like, so you talking about big business? Like, we, we, like, to bleach your clothes, you can get other. Just you can wash your shit with your hands. Mm-hmm. But, but we these don't. kids are so hooked on this brand that does nothing for them. Right. You feel me? As almost done, like they give back. Blah blah blah. Who doesn't? Most people do. You know, like whatever they do. It's just like that company for me. Mm-hmm. It's a personal thing. I want you to love your dunks and your Air Force Ones. Get your all YG phasos if you got to. But for me, I just don't. Bro. It sucks. I hate. I wish. I wish the eyes would be open. Who's that? This is a toilet paper error. <laughs> he, he created <laughs> toilet paper in 1857. <laughs> Joseph Gaetti uh, introduced the first patented toilet paper. He called it medicated paper for bro, the water closet. Bro, the, the Gaetis, if I ever meet a Gaetti. Gaetti's name was printed on every sheet. His it, medicated paper bro, contained aloe and was sold in packages of 500 sheets for 50 Bro, cents. if I ever meet somebody that's like, yo, my name's this guy, they're up. <laughs> Let's travel down. That, have yeah, you ever met a Gaetti? No. Exactly. Yeah. I've never heard of that last name before. Exactly. They out yeah. the way. You talk about Illuminati. That <laughs> motherfucker made toilet tissue to wipe your butt. All of us wipe our butt. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, hey, there he goes. Oh, yeah. yeah nice what do you think? You should let it air dry? Well, listen, we got to get back to the. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's go. Let's I really want right. to come back to because I want to add. I want to talk. I'm fascinated on the skate line shit. Yeah. Everybody wanted. You okay? You good? Yes, okay. Nice. <laughs> everybody, everybody wanted it. Tony got it with the Ride Channel, right? How long were you with the Ride Channel for? Do you remember? A uh, year and three months. Year and three months. Yeah, that doesn't seem like quick. a long time. Did nah, Thrasher come lived. in and just... Nah, Thrasher didn't come in. So the thing was, I felt so kind of like not disconnected from the Ride Channel thing. It was like, I just didn't know them. It was in San Diego. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. I was in the Bay Area. You're just so sending stuff I, down to So that. remember when I was telling you like that Crail Tab knot? I was getting a lot of deluxe love. Mm-hmm. But I was already a Bay Area kid, so they already supported me. Like it was like natural to right. support me. That's like kind of what they do, you know. So I, I'm going to Deluxe to get my real boards at this time. At first, I was on a company called Lurkville. That was like the first sponsor. Oh I had. yeah. They sent me boards, and then uh, I was asking Joel because he used to go get Deluxe boards, and I followed him over there when he was getting some for the shop one day. And I was like, and then he was like, Hey, can Gary get some boards? And they were like, of course, man. Yeah, I didn't know you would want. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then Jim just said, boom, 2012. Jim said, he's under my arm. I'm with him. Jim T just took me in. So uh, I'm going over there, and they're like, Thrasher's here, right? Like, it's over here, you know? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's really? That's around the corner from my grandmother's house. Mm. Like right there, what the, I grew up, bro. I was born right here. You didn't know Thrasher was right there, bro. Nah, wow. I didn't know it was okay. right there. You're okay. Very low key. Yeah, I was. Yeah. You feel me? So then they're like, "Hey, go over there, see what they say, man. You probably get a hoodie or something." And I was like, "I went in there for like a hoodie." I seen Tony, Tony Vitello. I seen a dude in there, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I seen some guys, and I was like talking to them. And they're like, man, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm the Chris Cole kid, blah blah blah. Like, you feel oh. me? I'm Gary. I'm like doing this thing. He's like, bro, I see you. I know what you're doing. He's like, you from out here? I was like, bro, yeah. My house is right there. My grandma's name is Ollie, by the way. Ollie, <laughs> really? rest in peace. Yeah. Wow. wow. Her name was Ollie. Wait, so you were already on Ride Channel at this point? <laughs> yeah. Okay, gotcha. Keep going. So I'm on Ride Channel. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, I see you, bro. He's yeah. like, but what y'all doing with that, by the way? I was like, nothing. Like my contract, I think, was coming up too. Okay. I was like, nothing like we kind of like figuring it out. They cool over there. I don't really know them that well. Mm. He's like, man, you. He said, bro, I would love some shit like that. I would love that. That'd be sick if you did it with us. We we back you. I'm like, oh 
shit. <laughs> Thrasher, like, bro, Th- Thrasher was going nuts at this time. I mean, it's still going still we doing there. good, bro. <laughs> we still doing good. Don't get it twisted. But like at that time, like you feel me, it's going up, and I'm like seeing it go up, and I'm like, I just wanted a hoodie, bro. And the homie's like, <laughs> Oh, you can have a hoodie, and I'll bring you in. <laughs> Boom, 2013. Okay. That family walk in the office after the show. Much uh, larger than 50 bucks, right? He, maybe okay 51 okay. we don't 51. talk about 51 uh-uh, yeah. 51 <laughs> i'm gonna say this to like get this clarified thrash magazine takes care of me good i'm they, glad they love me they take care i of always me. want here's the thing i we've never talked about that yeah. but i always they wonder about me, stuff bro. like that i always do because i do the show for free <laughs> they take care of me <laughs> What's he talking skate about? Get back free. on the mic. No, yeah. 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 skate line is skate line is free. They don't they don't pay me. They pay me in uh, love, bro. Okay. They t- and I oh hoodies you get hoodies, hoodies yeah. and okay. t-shirts okay. and right right right, you right. stickers. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> so how quick did you go over to Thrasher? Then like the way to the contract was up. Like I'm out. So I mean, you're in three months. You had to be ready to go. You feel me? Some stuff. Yada yada. What? No 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 no. There's no yada yada on this show. Yeah, what, <laughs> what is? What is? What, what is this? Yada? So the, the, Come the, on. The contract comes up. Go ahead. And there's some writing in the contract that's not kosher. All right. Okay. The only thing I can imagine is you can't leave to go to someplace else uh, for a kosher. certain certain thing. I ain't say time. it. I ain't say it. You did. Okay. Yeah. Feel me? Certain time. We you got interview. You got to be transparent. You got to get the clicks. You got to know the information. Gotcha. I didn't say it. You did. Okay. Go you ahead. keep saying stuff. I might agree. I might not. I might have to just keep so, pausing the episode, man. Basically, right, right. type Filling, shit. So, okay, go ahead. so that happens. Mm-hmm. We don't like that language. Okay. We're like, why? We seem like a family. This is going really well. Yada yada, right? Chris doesn't understand that. It's, I don't like that. I don't like that word. I don't like that word. We still the reason why the reason why I say yada yada is still like w- what you said. It's just like in yeah. this time and during that time, I'm like going to Deluxe, going to Thrasher, and then there. That's when I got asked that after I seen that language that wasn't that. Beast Which in is that contract. interesting to me because that kind of language is usually in like skateboard companies or shoe companies where they have to like yeah, yeah, yeah. get rid of all the product Skateline for the a, thing. Skate- yeah, but it's a it's a it's a media. Though. I don't blame them, motherfucker. But Skateline is a good idea. Like, oh no, no, I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I would try to write some shit in there to be like, and oh, I, yeah, I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm just saying, like, if you're like, yo, we don't need you, we'll keep it and put somebody else on it. You can oh, like, but that's it, yeah. it, 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 people try that shit. And it's impossible. Bro, it fails so, every time, bro. Yeah. But when I tell you, when I tell you, like, who I'm with, Joel, yeah, he don't play about three things in this world: skateboarding. His wife and me. <laughs> be like, Nigga, don't you're play about me, right bro. There. He don't play about me, bro. He protect me. He don't play. It. He didn't want nothing happening bad to me. He don't want. He seen. He know me since a kid. He mm. don't want nothing bad to happen to me. So let me ask you a question. So he was like, and when I when I say skateboarding, that means like him, his word, him as a person. He don't play about his like. That's what I'm saying. Like mm, yeah. he don't play about him, his wife, and me. Like that's that's my dog for real. I mean, no, I'm since I was 16 years old. I'm older than 16. Now. I kind of have the same. It's me, my cat, and you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. See, <laughs> so, so, so when he's seen all that was going on, he's like, bro, like, what? Like, mm. nah, like, let's figure this out. And I'm like, yo, dude, the dude that Thrasher was saying we could put it, we could put skin line on that. He was like, what? Because, you know, Thrasher don't really do shit. Mm-mm. They do their own shit. They do their own these. thing. Yeah. They don't bring on new shit. Like, yeah. They, I was like, bro. He was like, hell nah. So he really, he was like, all right, I'm over there. He went across the bridge, talked to the bro. Bro was like, yeah, how yada yada. You feel me? <laughs> you don't yada. be saying no, nah, no, nah, don't be yada yada me. So <laughs> did you have to pause and no, not film anything yeah, I think we for took the a, longest for, we for took, a while? I think like we took like another two weeks off. That's not bad. No, That's not bad. It's like two That's or three weeks. Like, 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 I'm thinking months or something. No, 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 like, no, no, okay, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. Skate Line like, has been like two consistent. Like, we basically, okay. I think six episodes, 12 years, or six weeks in 12 years have right. not had a Skate Line. Got you. Day. We're kind of in the same boat. You like, feel we, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, That's consistent. We're consistent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every, you got to be in this kind of, you know? You can't go away. Quick question real quick. Do you film episodes for like a week ahead? Like you get two episodes in one day? I filmed an episode yesterday. 
So do you do it every week? No, or I do, do like, Sunday. Sunday and then come out Tuesday. So every Sunday. Every Sunday. Well, because That's, he's got to be up on current events. He yeah, can't yeah, be, yeah. He can't exactly. film yeah. three weeks out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can't do that. But I've seen, I think I've, you travel, like, you know what I mean? Like, so maybe Bro, you're not in town. The funniest thing, where did I? I saw you at X Games, dude. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, what was that? You got to come on the show. And was, uh, you're like, dude, I flew home from X Games to film Skate no, Line. No, I, you, I didn't. That's what you said. <laughs> no, I didn't. You said you, you flew back. <laughs> Oh, I'm not supposed to say any of this. But listen, you so X Games doesn't notice. They oh, what? They never really? knew that. They yeah, but who cares? You, you. But no, nah, I know they didn't know that. Because like when you in TV, you can't leave production, bro. Like you can't leave. Oh, the but they, city. they don't need you for a certain <laughs> point. Bro, come on. It was a bad window because I literally was on at like 10 a.m. that next day, and you have to be there. Right. Early. If anything yeah, happens, but you went there, filmed the little bro, thing, know, and came back. Oh, you pulled up at 10. But if my flight was late, <laughs> it was like oh. the weird weather. I flew into Burbank. Like, mm. it was like all these things that weren't. I told them, like, yo, I might cut. Like, I got to go do skate line. Like, I can't miss another episode. Like, I don't, I don't like to. Mm -hmm. It's not that I get forced to. It's not that I need to. I don't like missing skate line. Yeah. yeah. There's literally, like. So they did kind of know. Nah, bro. Okay. Nobody still to this day knows if I really know. <laughs> well, they do now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I told, I think I told. Yeah, nah, yeah, they know now. Hey, I left. <laughs> <laughs> and, I came, and, I, and I slid back for finals, and I did finals. But that's just you got how, time. and I put on glasses. I was tired as hell, bro. But that's like, just how dedicated you are. Like, yeah, you're, you're you're at one event, you fly, you, you play, bro. You know what I mean? I like, that's all. that shows something. You feel that's me? And that's the that's yeah. thing that Joel taught me. It's, it's all about your word. Right. You feel me? For sure. You got to be a man of your word. Right. That's all you got. So, after the skate line, th I mean, after, uh, um, uh -huh. Ride that. channel, right? Then you a couple weeks off. Then now you're in the building. But but meanwhile, you're just still filming everything with Joel. Yeah, you, you're not coming into Thrasher and doing. You're nope. still just we got our own per studio providing them with with the at content. Crib, right? Yes, at his crib, we used to I, yeah. Because I take that. Remember, I told you we went to the ranch. We filmed it at his house for a little bit. Okay, he had a house out the way, and then. He built the mini ramp in that garage, <laughs> like in the garage, bro. He keeps building mini ramps. This thing is crazy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we we film responds in there, and then like we had a little setup in the guest room in the house. So your Gary responds is on Metro, yeah, and, and all the Thrasher, on Thrasher. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. right, 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 right. So, right. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> so, I mean, you you guys are are stoked then to to get out of that situation you were back then and then back into it wasn't thrasher. a terrible ass situation well, it was like, like the, the verbiage because to the be honest it's like what you like really that. gonna do at the end of the day like you're not gonna take my show no nobody over oh nowhere. that's another good point though. nobody you're nowhere signing... ever is gonna take nothing from they can't oh they, they can't. can't replicate what skateboarders you would, you, would, wouldn't even let that happen did you add abd show, to it because NBD? of oh i'm sorry excuse me it, it NBD? started with mbd Oh, did okay. yeah, skate line NBD because okay. we were thinking of Dateline NBC. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 and then I guess, bro, I guess that there was a, a weekend Taj skit that they made fun of, and they called it Skate Line, and somebody was trying to tell me that, and I didn't remember that, and I used to watch all of those, but they did everything. The weekend Taj dudes did everything because it was like I think I was granting all them right. But those dudes are funny though. They're funny as hell. Yeah. So I'm, that's why I'm like, bro, I, I would have caught that, but I. And I don't know if they thought we like try to take that one. And I was like, oh yeah, oh. they didn't say like MBD or nothing. It was just like skate line. What about the barracks shit? What you mean? When they did the uh, old guy that was doing the skate line. What was it called? Oh, the skate. What was the it called? News? The news. Oh, the news. Oh yeah, no, nah, they just. It was kind of like it was yeah. just it was a take. It was a take on your show. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. For sure. You don't care. Imitation is a form of flattery. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So you never saw the weekend Taj stuff? No, I never saw that. So somebody mm. like walked up at a, like a premiere and was like, "Bro, we did that." And I was like, "Oh, it's crazy. It's like early in the days, you know." Um, and I was like, "Oh, that's sick." But yeah, so it wasn't like a terrible situation that we got out of. But to be a part right. of Thrasher was like another nod of like, "Ooh, we're really in skateboarding now." Yeah. That's a bigger that's a, plat, bigger and better real, platform. We're yeah. really and like, mind you, like. I love Tony Hawk to death. That's my man. That's damn near my cousin at this point. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> you feel me? Like Tony, really my cousin. Like I'll pull up. <laughs> that's Unk for real. Like yeah. on God, bro. That's like really my people. And well, Thrasher just seems like it's more of like your home, right? It's in the it Bay Area. It is, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it literally name. is yeah. my house. Yeah. Nah, son. When I'm telling you, you know where Erwan is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm closer than that from Thrasher wow. from where I was born. Okay. Yeah, that makes wow. sense, bro. That is, that is like it's close. insane. Yeah. My grandma name is Ali. 
When I moved back to San Leandro, the skate park across the street from the house was Thrasher. I was meant to be here, bro. This is my calling. My grandma's name is Ale. <laughs> <laughs> my Grandma skate park Ollie. is called Thrasher. I'm the Thrasher Boys. I know you got Thrasher this, Boys this jewelry. Thrasher Boys. That's my brother's. TB4L, G code TB4L, Thrasher Boy for Life. I learned how to skate, drop in, be a man at that skate park. When Tony, that dude, told me, <laughs> hey, you want to do that show here? Bro, what? Life makes zero sense. And where they're going, they're stepping into media. They're not just the magazine. Like, they're like trying to do YouTube stuff. Oh, they're yeah. trying to get stuff oh, out. Yeah. And then Jake Phelps. I met him at 15 years old at Patrol. He was changing a board through a bushing at my head. <laughs> what? Bitch ass. It hit your head? <laughs> hey, he threw it right on my face, bro. Forehead? My forehead. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was dude, like, that was a good oh. aim. I was like, Phelps. <laughs> I was like, Phelps. He was sitting in the grass. He was like, yeah. Threw it at my head. I said, do. I was like, all right. So I went back and skated. I was like, okay, I'm supposed to leave that nigga alone. For sure. Don't walk up on him like that. You feel me? Because he just do wild shit and he don't know, like, hey, bro, you, I'm look, I don't like disrespect. Anyways, but I still, that's my bit. And then when he sees me in the office mm. and he's showing love, I was like, oh, bro, this is it. Yeah. Mm. Like, I, this is it. We, it makes we, sense. We won. Mm. Oh. We done did it. Oh, bro, you think I care about a negative comment? You think I care about what you think at your house with your keyboard? You think anything <laughs> you say to me anywhere in the world matters? I'm a skateboarder. Skateboarding fucks with me. Don't care. Has any? Right. I always want to ask people like, like like that do big stuff on the internet and whatever, whatever, whoever you are, skateboarders, whatever. Do you ever get anyone coming at you in the streets? Like anyone being like, Yo, I heard what you said on fucking blah blah. Like, you know, people say crazy shit on this. Has anyone came up to you in the streets? Yeah. <laughs> Anything crazy happened? Nah. <laughs> what happened? Somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody actually came up to you in the streets. Yeah. A skater? Pro skater? Yeah. Not pro. Oh, not pro. Just a, a uh, pro homie. Hmm. Homie? Yeah, some, he's like homies with pros and he's just. Oh, he was he watching their back? Yeah. Or we, come on, man. Really? He felt he felt he had to say something to you. Yeah. Mm. Would you? <laughs> I can't fight, bro. I'm a I'm a I'm a bitch. I'm all that, bro. I'm a he's sad basically dude. he's basically saying test this gangster, bro. No, yeah. not even, not even, not even, not even. I'm, I'm not joking, saying that. What I'm, I'm saying is, is like, y'all want to be tough so bad, bro. <laughs> <Just> look, people, <laughs> He can attest to this, bro. Like, this is... Uh, all right. When that situation happened, when the dude threatened me for the things I said on Skate Line, mm. me and that dude became cool because he understood what I was standing on. Okay. I was ready to die behind trying to be successful because I was tired of being poor. You're not finna punk me and ruin my stuff. You're not finna say nothing. I'm joking. Yeah. He, he, was, like, Get on, so, he was like, Get on your phone right now and apologize on Instagram. What? What? And he was like, bro. You must be bugging. Bro. Mind you, at the skate park when people pulled up on me, I'm not going to say where. I've already said it a bunch of times. I was at a place. That whole city became my homies after this situation. Because when it was like time and I was in the cut and it was a lot of guys versus me, I didn't fold. I didn't. I didn't, bro. And I, I don't want to be. I'm not on some. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a thug, bro. I ain't none of that shit. My mom yeah. and dad work hard for me to never even be with none of that. You feel me? But life is taking a yeah. natural course of like, I'm not going to play. So when the dude said, take your phone out, say sorry to all my homies on Instagram right now. He was like, he was like, I will take your life and read the Bible every day in prison and be proud of my decision. Jeez. What? The and I was like, he said it because he was on timing. Bro was on timing for his people. But when he heard what I said. He was like, oh, shit. And we was cool after that. What did you say? I said some shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, okay. I said some shit, bro. Can and I didn't, and I ain't. <laughs> it's like not about what I said. It was how I said it. Mm. Like I was ready to go that night. But what could you like, have it said? Sucked. It sucked because it would have been over skate line. It was so stupid. If he was like really out of his mind and did some bullshit, I'm like, bro, that was not a thug way to go out. It was like stupid of me, but it was like, bro, like, 
I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, what could you possibly say? Yeah, man. come it's on. Some bullshit. Man. That's what I'm saying, bro. But I hurt people feelings right, when I first right, came right, out. Right. Yeah, you no, didn't no, know no, me. It's true. Yeah. It's and true. I went in a city full of dudes that's not playing. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're the first to do whatever you did. You feel man. me? To be honest, you feel so me? So yeah. it's like it's new. Yeah. And it's people trying to come up, and they feel like they mouths is gonna be empty behind what I'm saying. So they felt a certain type of way, and I pulled up to their city, and it was like you got to cut. I didn't go anywhere. I stayed. I pulled up to all their parties, all the videos that whole weekend, mm -hmm. and they loved me for that. And they weren't scared. They weren't like, oh, yeah, I wasn't with nobody. I was with my brother, Patrick. That's it. It was me and him versus a whole city of skateboarders. <laughs> and I just like pulled up. No sorries. No like being scared. Just like, yep. <laughs> Stood in the middle of the street, <laughs> waited out front of the premiere, hands in my pocket. And they were like, yo, what is this? We could really. <laughs> it was dudes on timing over there. But when I came back, yo, you need to stay at the crib. We got you. What you need, we got you. We see what you're doing now. It was understood that it was satire. It wasn't serious, bro. They got yeah. it. Like, That's what I was they talking. They see my demeanor. Yeah. Like, they see. Like, what you was this talking about when we first met. About. Like, they, people did not get it. I was cracking jokes i wasn't sitting there mugging or nothing i'm still like <laughs> bro that whole weekend yeah. of people threatening me and dude i'm still like dancing at the show they were like oh this motherfucker don't <laughs> give a fuck yeah. it's the hobby and wait can you can you say that when you do that show you, you put on a character yeah yeah definitely See, thank you because that's 100%. like i think people don't understand that when they yeah. were first when you first came out i was like and then I met you in person. I was like, "Oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, it, it's, it's, it's definitely a character. It's like yeah. it's something you to try it up to for the camera a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then the people are like, "Damn, why'd you start screaming?" I think it's because I got an energy pickup when I put down weed and alcohol. Mm. So when I was like first doing it, it was like, yeah, like, hang on, I was talking like more. I'm high as a bitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, nigga, the first skate lines. I'm drunk, high, lean. Riddling, damn Jeez, dude, whatever the on fuck, it, bro. The the concoction, wow. bro. I was off that shit, my boy. <laughs> I was damn. up top, so I'm sitting there like I got a lot calmer because I'm fucked up. Like I'm mm. off all this shit and I'm not eating okay, either. Okay. I'm not eating a bunch, like you know. Yeah, money just start coming in. I, now I start to eat a little bit, but it's like I'm smoking more and drinking more than I'm eating. Mm. You know, I eat like the burrito before, or go to some In and Out or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But when did you cut? Sober. When did you cut all the alcohol? We're sober now. Yeah, yeah we sober yeah. in November of 2013. Nice. Oh, dude. good. That's tight. Yeah. That's a lot, dude. Ten years. Eleven years. About yeah. to be eleven. Yeah. Congrats. Nice. Oh yeah. Wait. No alcohol. November 13, and then March of 14 was weed. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Around the same area. Yeah. Same, same, same. I smoked same. my last joint in front of the barracks. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And prior to that, you had been smoking for for years. Yeah, so I was yet real young. Yeah, <laughs> how was that transition? As far as like, it was easy. I didn't have to yeah. go through nothing. That's I didn't. I, I the lean withdrawals was like kind of different. Oh damn! Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't like crazy, crazy. It was just like no, that's the that's that. That's I didn't draw on that shit's gnarly. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't. I don't think I got like that type of stuff. Like, yeah, it was like. I just stopped it. Did you? What was the the deciding factor? Success. Yeah, shit was starting to pop up. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing good now. My is looking at me like, "Hey, you gonna buy the weed? You gonna buy the drink? Mm. You got the money? These are my homies too." So it's like, the reason why it's weird when I say that is because it's like they were these people kept me alive. Everybody around me, whether it be younger or older, like brought me in their homes. This is why I call people my brother. Their mothers and their fathers took care of me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of their mothers and fathers ain't here no more. They took mm -hmm. care of your boy, like in a real way. I didn't have no shoes. I didn't have nothing, bro. Mm -hmm. They would buy me stuff for Christmas. And they was like, bro, can you help us now? And I'm like, I'm not going to help y'all this way. I'm going to bring y'all boards. I'm going to bring y'all shoes. I'm going to buy a GoPro. We're going to film. We're going to do this Thrasher Boy mm -hmm. shit. And then my big brother, David Lee, started our Thrasher Boys page, managed all of us, started letting us meet radio hosts, bringing us around, started our merch, got our logo, designed our logo, which is my first chain right here. Like, my brother, wait, which one is it? This one, right? That's Gary. <laughs> Hold on. This one. too many chains on. No, no, right, no. <laughs> only three, only three. Don't do too much. Don't do too much now. <laughs> this right here, my brother designed this. Okay. You feel me? And then he made the shirts out of it and everything. So it's like, 
when he did that, you feel me? Like, bro. So I just was like, yo, I'm going to chill on. Yeah. I'm good, bro. Mm. Mind you, he, you feel me? Like, when I got kicked out, went to his crib, we were smoking shit, and I was like, bro, I don't want to do this no more. He's like, I got you. It's good. He's like, we're going to do this other shit. Mm-hmm. And he poof, flipped it for everybody. He's like, we're going to make this a business. You know what I'm saying? We got with little Nico Haraga. Like, I was already with him. Like, we didn't just pick him up because he started popping. Like, Nico's like, I want to be Thrasher Boys. I want to film content. We was going to the Crail Park, skating. Like, Dave was filming all of us with his phone, making edits before edits was anything. Like, everything, bro. David Lee, he helped me get out of the smoke and drinking for real. Like, because I had, like, paranoia with it. Oh, man, bro. All types of shit. But I just, bro, shit, man. Well, congrats. Yeah. Yeah. You have par- wait, wait, you have paranoia show. in the transit of like stopping or just during the last during the days last- of smoking. Okay. Mm. Because it was like, bro, what am I really smoking for now? Yeah. I'm not struggling no more at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 51 bucks, man. Hey, we, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't sorry, talk hey, about whoa, that. Hey. Watch your mouth, Kelly. <laughs> God damn it. Why don't talk about it? Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't talk about it. No, that's awesome, though. It's all, yes, it's rad bro. to see, you know, the, the the little kid that I saw outside of the Pretty Sweet premiere. I was hiding. Yeah, but it's cool that it's rad to see the, uh, you know, it's rad <laughs> to see you now. I was high right? as hell when I met y'all. So yeah. that's pro- I think that's why I started crying. I was hella high when I met Guy, and I was like, this motherfucker just switched trading those kind of the real <laughs> this and this weed hitting this is a crazy life yeah. so it's like yeah, yeah that yeah. was that, that might was, be one of the last biggest premieres i've ever been yeah, to yeah, fact. I, like, yeah, that was yeah. i've really when thought did, of, when did baker has a death wish that was 2011 huh that was, that was before yeah because i was 19 when they fucking thought i said rick reynolds when i stuttered reynolds i was like rick reynolds oh <laughs> now you hear it huh I was like, Rick Reynolds. Like, Reynolds. Rick, Rick Reynolds. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I People thought <laughs> you didn't Reynolds. know his name. He's like, come on now. Come on now. No, fucking Rick Reynolds. Is Andrews. That's not even close. <laughs> like, if I had called him Andy or like Antonio. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna say I called this motherfucker Rick? That don't. That's. <laughs> Albert. I hate it, bro. Albert. Rick Reynolds. Bro. But yeah, that was. Because when was that premiere? Oh, the, that was a big ass premiere, bro. Yeah. November 2012 or something like that. Was pretty sweet. Yeah, but I'm saying God one was damn. Baker as a Death Wish. That had to be 11, right? Because Made was 10 or uh, Stay Gold was 2010. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, 2010. So wish. pretty sweet might have been the last big premiere, bro. Because Baker has a Death Wish, motherfucker. They lit a bus on fire, did they not? Five they're years. About, they're ago. about to have a premiere on Sunday. I know. So I'm going. I'm I'm looking forward. Oh, full circle, full circle too. Look, my first video on Thrasher is called Thrasher Has a Black Wish. Wow, your first wait, yeah. So that must have been 2009. My first video on my YouTube. Oh, okay, okay. Baker has a death was 2008. It's called back. That's 2008. That's what it says. Yeah. yeah so that must have been 2008, 2009. That was like one of my first. You no, Rick Could Reynolds. Wait, yeah, we need to find this Rick Reynolds. Rick play. Reynolds kills it. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's good. He's good. <laughs> Y'all niggas cute. <laughs> Y'all cute as fuck. I swear to God, y'all adorable as a bitch. Oh. Y'all literally just heard me. Why? What happened? <laughs> yeah. And then it what didn't Slash say like he said it's Rick? Hey, Slash, like the craziest nigga of all time. Like, <laughs> where is he at? <laughs> so it's like, Rick. Like, bitch, fuck you. What was this song? Like, what? Where, where did you say that though? Where? Where it was, was it? Baker has a death wish. Oh, it's in there. It's in the video. They put it and they put the skate line thing in the background. Oh, and I like sat because I was. I was high as hell too and I seen Reynolds and all them at the yeah. they was just at like a pizza place like chilling they was at Blondie's I think and and it was in Berkeley and I had just learned how to do switch hill body barrel and that shit went right on my ass trying to do it in front of <laughs> I was trying to do it in front of Herman because you feel me I had like watch Baker 3 and you all try to play it off nah hell no I just accepted it yeah. <laughs> I don't get embarrassed bro like, I don't, it, it, if I called him Rick and I was wrong like no no no, the, no the, this is my thing like too this is my favorite part about like, life yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. saying. oh no nah, I didn't give a shit bro okay. <laughs> I'm still it's fucking really sure still sure. ended up in the Baker video. Like uh, yeah, yeah. I'm oh shit. Like I don't get embarrassed, bro. I don't care. Like what? It doesn't matter. In third grade, I was running to get a basketball trophy one time, fell in front of three hundred people, bro. I don't care, bro. Like everybody was like laughing, like the students and shit. And I got up and I was like, Oh, it doesn't matter. I can stand up and just keep walking. Like yeah. I just fell. Like I don't get everybody was like, Oh, Gary, what did you do, bro? You just made yourself look so stupid. I was like, nah, bro, I'm like having hell of fun. And I would sack myself at the skate park anyway, so it doesn't really matter (laughs) 
where I sack myself. Like, <laughs> I don't care, bro. What the fuck? Did you know you're gonna be in the video? Like hell no. Nah. Like, like, bro, this is th- that was two years before Skateline started. Oh, shit. oh seriously? Yeah, no I was way. like 18, 19. This was just a like random night. But I thought you said they put the skate line stuff in there too. They put the beat after I made it. They found the clip and was like, that was the kid when they came out to film okay. for it. Remember, remember back in the day, you would film for a video for like a couple years yeah, and it would come yeah, out yeah. not that <laughs> month. Right. Yeah, they went out there like a year and a half before it dropped. Gotcha. And then they saw Bro, the, like, oh, that's the death, kid from the skate line. Baker has a death wish was 2008. That's impossible. Was it I wasn't Baker, 16. Was it Baker? What was the other Baker videos? There's so it's many. Baker 4. Baker has a death wish could not be 2008, bro. Baker 3 came out in 02 or 03. <laughs> Do skate yeah. video sites. See, see what they say on there. It's not 08, bro. That was like maybe 9, 10. Because maybe sometimes on YouTube, they, they put dates and they're, they're, they get it wrong too. Yeah, bro. Like how those dudes be doing like, my song came out before yours. How do people be doing that, bro? Like they'll edit the date of their song and they make like, and it'll be like another big song. They'll be like, they stole my idea and they'll go viral oh. off like <laughs> acting like an artist stole their song because they know how to do dates. something they date and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Baker has a death wish 2008. Baker, imp- Baker has a death wish summer tour 2009. Yeah. Bro, that's impossible, bro. <laughs> that's impossible. I was in... The Baker has a Death Wish video, sacking myself in 2008. No, bro, because the Skate Line tune is on there. It must not have been it, Baker's a Death Wish. Yeah, it might be a later video. Which video is that then? Bacon, Bacon, Bacon destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, yeah, there it see. is. I had Coming Thrasher through. has a Black Wish, and that's why I keep getting that mixed up. Bacon Destroyed was the last big premiere. What year was that? Two thousand twelve. Two thousand eleven. Yeah, that see? A little mix up of the names right there. That's mm. all it was. Okay, because Bacon Destroyed for sure. Mm. There we go. Thank God, bro. Why did I think there Baker has know. a death wish? That's crazy. Yeah, there we go. Thank God for the internet, man. Search it up. Yeah. We're looking for yeah. Bacon, I was about Bacon to say, destroyed. bro, what? Yeah, Bacon Destroy. See, fully fully forgot about that. Hmm. Do you remember where it's at? Where's it in the yeah, video? Do you remember in the video where it's at? Uh not nah, just you could type in Gary Rogers Bacon Destroy. Oh, it'll have that. It's kind of like thing. a solo out clip of just like me acting like a dumb fuck. <laughs> that shit fire. <laughs> that shit fire. Let's hey, see. make sure you leave all that shit in when I was wrong about the video and all that. Like, I don't care. <laughs> this is me. Oh. Beagle, like, just enjoying his food. My brother Damien. <laughs> yep. This is demo. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Proud. There's, okay. Both nuts, nigga. All the nuts I got. So you did try to play it off a little bit. Dude, I tried to play it off. The whole crew is right in front, <laughs> dude. Wait a minute, that was a demo for you. I'm high as hell. Stick to Harflitz and Big Big Trigger. Where is that? Berkeley. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Reynolds had just walked the no. It's Rick. Oh my god. <laughs> you are a fucking legend. Are his pants down? Yeah. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> that <laughs> hey. Who was that? That was Damiel Bernardo. <laughs> Bro. Remember I told you a couple people can really make me laugh? <laughs> Reynolds like so I didn't see so mind you the whole Baker they were boys all, they were there mm-hmm. was there right the only person that was missing was Andrew Reynolds and I was like tell that boy Reynolds I was tell that boy Reynolds to keep front side flipping right and I turn around and this motherfucker is just casually crossing he's jaywalking by the way crime <laughs> you're you're already standing in the middle of the street by the I'm way. already standing in the middle of the yeah. street and he just ends up like passing me as I say that. I was like, oh, oh, it was like a fake time. Like all my favorite dudes are just like, <laughs> just all there. Just like, you feel me, bro? Yeah, yeah. like what? Yeah. Like Rick Reynolds. <laughs> That's so red. And, uh, and then why is your all pants down? And be like, you're a legend. He's, <laughs> he's a dumb bitch. <laughs> nah, like Daniel's a stupid bitch. <laughs> I love that nigga to death. He has done nothing but the wrong thing since I've known him. <laughs> so whatever he's doing, shit. you're doing the opposite. No. Me and him always did the wrong thing. Okay. okay. He's a couple years younger than me. Um, 
I took him in. His parents like kind of wasn't like cool shit. So I took him in uh, for a little bit, and then, <laughs> bro, that's my man's though. No, oh, it was yeah. funny, dude. Not I was just like, is hey, I'm not gonna tell that story. You know what's crazy? I'm not gonna tell that story because that bitch ass motherfucker. He'll act like it didn't happen. I saw I hate him. I hear him uh, be like, "Oh, you went on that shit?" And said you, bro. My mom remember like never mind. Like, <laughs> that's that like, that's my that's my boy for real. It's tight. Yeah. This is like you guys having a good time. You guys were just, you just ran into him randomly. Bro. Like where where was that? We was at Five Size Pizza oh, yeah, on right. tele on Telegraph, bro. We was in Berkeley, bro outside kicking. and you had no idea they were gonna be up there like there wasn't like a like a demo in town or something nothing shit. bro uh, nothing we was just getting pizza at our local spot <laughs> walking to the car bro and they all happened to be there the whole team <laughs> gang crazy, bro. talk about timing bro. Yeah. the whole team they went out late because it was late we used to go late so we could you know you can't really smoke nowhere so we was like let's we smoked later you know what i'm saying so we was like in the car and we used to go to this like viewing shit. So when we get high, we say dumb shit because we could see like crazy lights. <laughs> so they obviously went a little later. So like they wouldn't run into a whole bunch of people, mm. I think, because it was late, bro. It's a late night. They could have been skating or doing something. You feel me? Yeah. Getting tricks. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And just walking up the street, Baker Boys. Fuck you mean, bro. Top of the world, too. Yeah. Like all this shit's going on. So yeah. Rick Reynolds. <laughs> oh, he will forever be Rick Reynolds to me now. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah. You know? no, that's, that's pretty yeah, funny though. Shout out to Rick Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Shout out and his front. Shout out to steps. Andrew Reynolds. Both of them. Both. Nah, of them. just <laughs> Andrew. He got a name, but that shit funny as hell, bro. Like I know, like when it first came out, a lot of people was like, "Yo, you so stupid," blah blah blah. And I was like, "That shit fire, bro." Yeah. I'm dumb, huh? But it, it's those memorable <laughs> moments, though. Right? Exactly. If you, you yeah. don't, if you never stutter, that's what we made skate line right. for, bro. It's like you can it's remember the, funny it's the, shit. What like was that. it? The up down B, mm. up down square and square and shit, up down square and shit. Yeah. Right. But that's it's like fly. those guys are so good at capturing these moments randomly, right? Like oh, the Beagle fact, was probably filming that whole thing. No, no Beagle, Beagle was eating. Eating the yeah. it's in the clip. Who's filming? Some I don't know. Wow, we don't even know who filmed that, bro. No, that was wow. a phone video. Somebody had a phone. That was like early iPhone video. Oh. Wait, so how, did you tell them that, like, yo, before okay. that video came out, did they have any recollection? How did they find out that was you? They, bro, they were just like, I think that's that kid. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when they were like, oh, it is him. You said it was like a year and a half later, right? Or Some, something. Hold on, bro. Something's yeah. hit me. Somebody asked me something. Hmm. Somebody randomly asked me, like, yo, did you meet these dudes here? And I was like, yeah. Oh, okay. So they someone, wanted to, they ver they wanted wanted to verify. To verify. Yeah, yeah. Because hmm. you said that was a while Bitch. before that. Somebody came set out. me up. <laughs> I got set up. Fuck. I'm lacking. <laughs> That's I remember amazing, that. Though. Somebody from like Ride or somebody asked me, like, yo, did you meet these guys? Or like, I was like, yeah, the whole team, bro. Like, I saw Andrew, Brian, Nuge. Everybody was out. Smakey. Yep, yep that's the kid. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's a kid verified. They, they, I, I remember when I was a kid, uh, I went down to San Diego and I was like, uh, I don't know, uh, 13, 14, and I seen girl chocolate team skating to school. I uh, draw wasn't myself. there, but like it was the day Sheffy switched front boarded that uh, UCSD rail. No, no, I'm sorry. San Diego, the City College, the little Ronnie Bertino switchback lid. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like Costin was trying to all heal back 5 0, but like when you see those people in the wild, it's Bro, like you came and it's different. I would have yeah. threw up. Yeah. I threw up. Yeah, it was crazy. I would have threw up if yeah. I saw Eric Costing trying a trick. Trying to, he was trying to nollie heel back 5 0 down It doesn't camera. matter if he was, was like, trying what? to ollie a curve yeah. and I caught him skating. I love yeah. Eric and Eddie. Yeah, he's those, my favorite skater I of all Eric, time. Bro. Best dude. I'll never tell him that, though. Them. Fuck you, Eric Costa. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. You slutty little man. That's a good guy. That's a great guy. Here's a random, random question to segue real quick. How, how did you find that that little tune for uh, your the skate line? That was like fully like editing side. So I don't uh, know any of that, bro. I don't worry about none of that. I've never even watched them make an episode of skate line. I don't know how they do it. So you're in and out. Like I'm you do your thing? Out. I do it and they deal with it. Right. And then okay. it comes out on Tuesday. I'm like, oh, shit, I said that. Let's get it. <laughs> I don't know. What about... Cause you you're obviously doing stuff. I we you have the X Games uh, like Twitch stream now. What's yeah. it called? The uh, Grinding on Wine Tuesdays and Thursdays. There 6 you go. PM. Grinding on Wine. I was the first guest. Yes, you were. You appreciate to you for a that. little guinea guinea pig. When Thank was that? You. 
Uh, 14 ago. episodes ago. Yeah, 14 weeks. That was, wasn't that long ago. Listen, How many episodes did you do? You do two, two, two a week. Yeah, seven weeks okay. ago. Okay. But uh, you've been doing a lot of other stuff with X Games. You host Buster Bales. Like you've been getting into that. It's not whole... Buster Bale. It's a real street best trick. Buster oh, Bale. Real street? Buster Bale is Buster Bale. Thrasher has Buster Bale. Anything that I do that does not say Thrasher and I host. No, no. Best I thought trick you did a Buster Bale uh, down the fifteen. Do a, I did a Buster. Yeah, Bale, yeah. yeah that's what I'm talking about. That was not a Buster Bale down the fifteen. That wasn't. Kid titled that and it went crazy in views. Really? That was not a Buster Bell, children. If you do not see Neck Face and I there with the microphone and the Thrasher banner, that is me trying to host the best trick in your city to give kids money that can do gnarly stuff in their city. What's that one and called? It's just the best trick. Best trick. Okay. I just was doing the best trick. Oh. Um, and I, ain't nobody ever tell me to clear that up. If anybody at Thrasher was like, yo, Gary, don't don't go out there, I'll be like, yo, fuck you. What you talking about, bro? And just squabble with one of the homies in the office. I just want to say that because it's a level of respect for Buster Bell. For sure. No, 100%. I, I don't have that. No, as I, much I, Thrasher as I am, because I'm Thrasher. That's me. Not like that. Like I'm saying, like that's my body. Like I embody everything that they've let me be a part of. Sure. You feel me? My sure. park, everything. Yeah. I love it. I respect it too much for anybody to call anything a bus. But the things that I did at Rincon and things like that was yeah, like yeah, real yeah, street, yeah. best that's trick. That's real street stuff. And right. then the thing I did in Arizona was just mm -hmm. the best trick for the city with Block Skate Shop. And then, but but you getting into how did you get into how did you get w in with X Games? Did they just hit you up um, or what? It, what was the deal over there? So it's the thing with the name Jason, which is a cousin of mine that got murdered. Um, this dude named Jason Crutch hit me up, and whenever a Jason hits me up, for some reason, it's always helping me, bro. Huh? So fucking crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. The dude from Guest's name is Jason. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's always trying to guide me. So when Jason called me, this dude, he's like, my name is Jason. I was like, God damn it. Here it goes again. <laughs> and I turned it down. I was like, really? bro, I don't think I'm going to do it, bro. Like, I don't really want to be a part of that. What like, was it for? For X Games. Hosting, like, Just the line host, host, stuff? Yeah, the host okay, okay. street for gotcha, X Games. Gotcha. And I was like, yeah, bro, I don't really want to do that. Like, people, you know, I don't want to go on the corporate side, like, I got to protect the little guys. You feel me? I got to be on what I'm on. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, bro, we actually want you to be yourself on this. I was like, good. Because I, if I go there and y'all like, hey, put your thumbs up and smile and be like, fuck y'all, bro. I don't care. Yeah. Kids, <laughs> when these companies want you, don't let them change you because they called you because you were you. All right? 100%. I'm, I got over there and I was myself. I just mm -hmm. can't say the N-word on national television. Mm -hmm. That's why I no, no. Can't do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if it had been on anything else, you tell would have been a nigga. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> but can you... But on X Games, you got to say yada yada. Yeah, I got to say yada yada. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was, gotcha. that was okay. good. Ooh, <laughs> that was good. There you go. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, good good night, everybody. That was good, good night, everybody. Was good. I'm out. I'm yeah. out. Hey, he slid. People yeah. don't even get what I'm talking about right now, but that was good. All right. But yeah, so um, yeah, Jason called me. He's like, yo, man, I want to offer you opportunity. Like, I'm gonna take care of you. Like, financially, I was like, all right, for sure. Like, because bro, if we do it, it's gonna cost this. I set a price. Mm. He said, Yeah, I was like, God damn it, I should ask for more. <laughs> like everybody else says, it's like, yeah, 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 do it easy. God cool. Damn, I should be like, and I didn't do it. So he just said, Yeah, he's like, Really? All right, cool. So he signed. I was like, God damn it, I got played. Now I'm just playing. Um, How long is that for? Is that like a year contract, two years, three years? It's just that. Just, just that. the event. Bro, you, right. don't, oh, okay. you don't sign me deep. Okay. Pause. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, you just did one. Oh, you're, bro, you're a I'm one a, in. I am a one off for okay. everything I have. Okay. But what about this Twitch thing? I mean, obviously I there's something. I am a one off for that as well. Not per episode. You can't do per episode. Like, uh, that's on. a year. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. I've been okay. here for like okay. five years now. But like <laughs> early. You don't sign me to a damn lifetime right. three year deal. You shit, bro. Next week I might be like, all right, I'm gonna take your whole platform down. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but um, yeah, nah, it was just like okay, yeah. So then, then they, then they, what did they, did they approach you for the the X Games, the, yeah, so uh, X Games the Twitch? No, but the Twitch stuff. No, nah, we sold it to. Them. Oh, you we, did. We, you we said, just, hey, we, we do this. We made the thing with Thrasher with Monster for a little bit, and it was right, just like right, that's right, not right. the direction yet for. Mm. You know how like Thrasher's like late to Insta, late to YouTube. Thrasher's yeah. like, bro, we still want to make incredible videos and put out a good magazine. Sure, that's yeah. all they own, bro. And, like, I know a whole bunch of kids feel a certain type of way about Thrasher and like how it's going. It's just like, bro, we just gotta focus on a cult of people that appreciate great videos, mm -hmm. the way you look and present yourself, 
an amazing magazine for you to read and look at. That's it. That's all Thrasher is on. Right. Telling stories now, too, is like something they're trying to do. That's why they included me. It's like Skateline does the news. There's DIY stuff. Like, it's like, that's it, bro. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. focused on. So Twitch is not really that world yet. A live thing versus a created thing is not Thrasher's world yet, which we understood. So when we did that, we was like, yo, like we should go over to X Games with this because that's their angle. Okay. Yeah. Live interaction and there's nothing going on for X Games besides the two contests. Right. It's hella dead space. I was like, let me open up the dead space and do something weekly because hella shit is happening in skateboarding and the world and talk to people. You feel me? On yeah. this platform. So we just made it. So let me ask you a question. When you said you've only had a four guests on there? 14. 14. Now, yeah. Okay, so you've had a guest every show. Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, four you only had on Skate Line, right? Yeah, four yeah, okay. Oh, my bad. Yeah, Five yeah, only right. had on okay, Skate Line. Okay, yeah. okay. So, mm -hmm. but now you got to, I mean, twice a week too, you got to get a guest every week? Yeah. That, and you, <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> yeah. What has been the caliber of guests that's come on? Uh, I mean, they started off hot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I would imagine. Yeah, they started off they started big time. Well, at least you could do it through online, like in person. You, know, you mean like, like DM somebody? No, no, no. Like you could have like an interview have someone have people here through, through like a Zoom oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to get a fucking skater to show up, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we are the most unreliable pieces of shit in the world, bro. Skaters, I hate you. I'm loving you at the same time. Well, that's why I laughed at Chris kind of. He's like, what? You got to interview 14 people every one people person every week? I'm like, what the fuck? We've been doing it for seven years. Yeah, but, but, but still like twice a week trying to get like to, like yeah, on but a it's like, day every day. This, we, we, we can sporadically film whenever we want, right? Like that's. Uh, I guess your live is here's different. a here's yeah, a good drawing live. though as mind you x games not where it was but it's still a good ass name you know what i'm saying like x games gets skaters and people to be like whoa okay mm -hmm. like it feels way more official you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the homie's been popping up we had a little sunny soldier on there okay okay we've oh had, dope we've had um luis mora okay okay yeah and um we had you yep we've had hella people bro I'm not, do Love i go it, through bro. the whole list well, that's cool because ish. you're you're so so. We just okay. had Ish, we had Jolly. Oh hell yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they've good that you're associated on. with like because you're like announcing and, and also doing. Then this. they've given me yeah. X Games is like since Aspen's coming up, they've been giving me skiers and like snowboarders and shit. How's that been? And I've been talking to the skiers because I was like looking like bro, like, I'm not trying to talk to you, bro. Like, <laughs> the hell and then you talk to them they cool <laughs> you know because i'm hella like skiers are cool no, they cool bro the people dude, the those people, skiers are gnarly the dude. people that they give in to me bro skiing is like to me like but it's still your decision the, the dudes, who you having on the show now the dudes though are like hey yeah no it's, it's it is my decision but it's like as soon as they presented the skiers i was like bro let me try this out like let me talk to these yeah, people i gotta like yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. them you feel For me sure like that's how i was telling you like earlier about like kids and scooter and stuff i can't be doing that shit bro i feel like bro i it feels racist, bro. <laughs> to be hating on people because they scooter or bike or oh, anything, saying. bro. Right. It literally feels like, like you feel me? I'm trying to segregate the mm. shit. And I'm like, I got to cut that shit out. They just different. You feel me? Like, yeah, yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, different sure. shit. But it's like, at the same time, like, I, I need to expand so I can even know what these kids talk like. They got their own vernacular, their own little totally. space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Who am I to like be so they've been giving me people to kind of like interview, but mainly it's like my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so which it should be. It should 80, be. 85 percent of the guests is all me. Like right. they just going to give me like a little, you know, to like do stuff with the shit because it is a big corporate. No, man, that's cool. Dad. But I they mean, don't like, run shit, bro. You don't run me them the homies. That's the point. X Games. No, that's the homies. Everybody up there. X itself. Mr. X is the homie. He's not my boss. <laughs> well, at least you were transparent. Those are my you were transparent in the beginning. So, exactly. You know. Those are my friends. Those are people. Like it's not like they get at me and like, oh, you just like gonna give us this image and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. We going They make sure they like Gary. Bro, we walk in the building and I'm like, ah, flip on the table before the meeting. Like, they just love how I am right, and they right, accept right. it. And I don't walk in there like I'm better than anybody and they don't think that I work for them. They're just like, this is the dude that we made sure we only hire for this event because he's nuts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you could, but you're open to doing more X Games events. Yeah. Yeah. I'm but we just, we're just not signed up for it yet. Yeah, we're just not signed okay. up for it yet. Okay. Dude, I'm going to do the X Games as long as I can. Bro, that's television. Like, I'm on television now. Like, where yeah. I come from, I'm on television. Mm -hmm. You know, in the hood, thing too, look, are you on an X Games shit? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah. I am on that. Nah, not really, though. Actually, like, when people do ask me anything, I don't admit it. I don't, I don't know. Like, you, what do you say? Like, that's not me? If I'm in the street. No, no, no. Like, oh. hey, do I see you on that? No, bro. No. <laughs> X what? No, 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 no. 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 
That Dude, wasn't me, bro. That wasn't me. I remember <laughs> went to Oslo X Games. I was head judge out there, and you were out there announcing. I never went there. <laughs> <laughs> I was with you there, but <laughs> so it wasn't him. Okay, <laughs> more, okay. Continue your story. Though. Though. Continue your story though, because I, I want to see like it could have been me, but I don't think it was. Go no, ahead. No, but I never hung out with you in the lobby and stuff. But uh, we uh, anyways, in our we have different room. And we and the judges are, and there was like a complete different judging room, and you we weren't you couldn't hear the skating, it was just screens. And I was like, dude, there's no way I'm having all my all the judges here that I'm with not hearing the skating. So they're like, well, the only way we can have it is we have the live broadcast. I'm like, yeah. perfect. So they put it on, and then you pop up, and we're judging this contest. And after we're judging, like doing the score, it was like it was, was different because it was not. You were you were being genuinely you being funny as fuck, and usually those people aren't funny doing the announcing. No, bro. Yes, yeah, so they're like, oh, he did a kid with back tail, and what, what do you think about no, that? Like, oh, that was great. Yeah. You're like, this Shit guy is ass, just, bro. Like, this guy is doing it so damn funny that I was like, that's perfect for this. And it don't got no moment. life to it before. You know, I was like. Uh, how do I put it, bro? No, like, I, 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 wanna, I feel you. I yeah. want to add life to it. That's mm -hmm. all. Like, yeah. I want to give like a skater's perspective. Like, you know how they try to say, this is something Salema gave me, though, which is like good game. He's like, Gary, you are who you are in your community, but there's people that don't know who you are and don't really know skateboarding. How can you get them to love skateboarding while being yourself, though? Right. And I was like, God damn. Because I'm only talking to skaters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let the other nigga do it. The one that's like professional shit. He'll get the mobs. I'm going to just talk crazy. But then I'm like, I should try to do it myself too so they can feel like they understand me. That's why I like, I haven't changed at all. Like, I just like kind of like don't really talk down as much as I, because I was roasting motherfuckers originally like yeah. in those Oslo times. Like I was roasting these guys. Like they're hella nervous. It's hella people. Like, contest is a really weird transition for like a lot of those dudes so i was like all right let me like lighten up a little yeah, bit and I, <laughs> hey, you know what i'm saying like i know these dudes like yeah. that's another thing too like when you're an announcer like the people don't know you know these guys like when i'm making fun of deshaun's kickflip they don't know that's one of my coolest homies oh uh, yeah yeah you feel me or if i'm making fun of a shot for like not being good in his run but killing it in practice they like damn you over here talking about a shot like what's up with you bro like shots better than you ever will be i stay at a shot's house when i come down here that's my man's bro that's the homie when he won so he came on skate line to give me that like love and push yeah. me up but I'm sure if a shot heard that, like over, like he'd he be laughing his ass off. Shot be cracking up, bro. <laughs> shot be like, I heard you say, bro. Yeah. <laughs> He's one of the funniest so dudes too. Stupid, yeah. Stupid, bro. Yeah. You're he, such an idiot, bro. It's crazy. He won that contest. Dude. <laughs> he won. That, yeah, he won. That was I incredible. I wasn't there, but he won. Oh, okay, okay. So you. <laughs> Get your story straight, Kelly. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. so, Kelly. That must have been yeah. crazy delusional. Like crazy. That's why we got to yeah. yeah. sit him over there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Never, yeah. never was in the lobby. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. None, we didn't have no good conversations <laughs> about none of this shit. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, dude, congrats on that, man. Keep yeah, doing that thing. Tight. Keep doing your thing on there. I'd love, yeah, love to see it. Appreciate it. Love to see it. Appreciate it, bro. So, what do you, uh, so all we got going on now is we got Push for Pink. We got X Games stuff. We got. Um, skate line. Yeah. What else we got? You said a production company. Yeah, Blue Juice Productions. Where we Blue making, Juice. Yeah, okay. my boy Father Dress, Andres Jimenez. He films and makes everything that I like. My social media team puts out. Um, he he does like so filming for the Skate Shop, which is Everyday SFC on Ten Geary, San Francisco. Mm. You know what I'm saying you can go over there, park your car. It's a really good area. Okay, you ain't got to worry. Okay. You ain't got to worry about bipping on my block only, but one block over can't help you. <laughs> uh, and then we're doing um, Black Gold Grip Tape, which is my grip tape company that's taken me forever to really release. Okay, because I had like I have like even though I don't use the p word, like I every, I want everything to be per, you know what I'm saying perfect. Yeah, like, yeah. So one like. That 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 can hinder you for uh, a bit. that could that could put yeah, you back bro, for exactly. You, got, you have has, to kind of go like, with what you. I put stuff out, but now now I got like the merch, and I'm about to go crazy yeah. with that. So I'm putting that out there, um, and I obviously don't care about opinions. So it, I just didn't do it because it didn't feel right to me. Mm, you know what I'm saying? saying it right, wasn't like right, I was right, like right. people are gonna think this sucks. I don't care. People are gonna say my shit sucks anyway. It's me. It's like if I put something out, that's gonna be the opportunity for somebody to say it sucks. Right. 
They're just like, oh, we've never been able to say nothing about him. Like, let's just say his shit sucks. And I'll be like, all right, cool. Like, my shit sucks. <laughs> I, got the, I got the suckiest thing that I'm going to continue to pour money in, and I'm going to keep just letting it be terrible. Right. Just so you can keep saying it's terrible, because that's <laughs> hilarious to me. Most people get defeated when they're like, your grip tape is terrible, or this, your shirt is like, your brand or your logo. Okay, it's all bad. You hate it. Somebody might like it. <laughs> that's all I focus on. Sure, sure. So we're doing that. Okay. Push for pink, push for black gold, everyday SFC. Rob Skate Academy is the skate academy I do. Like we do a um, like um, skate instructing for kids. We got two locations: Concord, San Leandro, um, and then there's Camp Metro with Joel. That's gonna Man. be going, that's gonna be going up in June. Um, you got a lot of stuff going. on. Yeah, yeah dude. Damn, busy, Lord. bro. Bro, I'm yeah. proud to see that shit, bro. Bro, you see why we talking crazy? <laughs> <laughs> and mind you, like it's like it's not about being like. Oh yeah, he rich or something. Like, no, I ain't got it like that. Like, I'm working towards it. I wanna do it. I wanna I wanna put I wanted to have my hands on all these things. So if it pops, it pops. Cause Rob Dyrdek is like, bro, that's the idea. Mm. You feel me? Like that human, that energy, that idea, that's the idea, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So That's one of us. You feel me, bro? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's one of us, bro. Whether he does it today or not, that's one of us. True that. One of them wake up, grind a ledge, film, get the clip, be in the edit, be in the video dudes mm -hmm. that made it. Beyond. You feel me? Like And still preaching good energy, bro. <clears throat> fuck the corporate. Fuck your idea. Fuck your opinion about, bro. That was one of us. Is one of us. Oh, True that. Yeah. So that's the idea for real. Big respect. So... That's basically why it's like hands in all these places so I can get to that point hopefully one day. Maybe it won't happen for me. Maybe that's not my calling, but I want to set all this stuff up. As long you as know. you're enjoying it, dude. dude. Having hella yeah, fun. Because yeah, yeah. can't vibe. nobody tell me nothing, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I don't care what you're talking about. If you exist, you you either on my team, I don't fuck with you. You got to be on my team, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like the industry is like really strange. Skateboard industry is like really strange because, like, mind you, like I told you, like, I love the S's, I love the soul text of the world. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I love them. Mm -hmm. That's my people. That's who I fight for. But I kick it with the bands of the world and I kick it with the this of the sure. world and I be with everybody, you know? Well, but I, at the same time, I don't be with everybody because people be acting weird. And I don't, I don't do weird individuals or companies. Yeah. Okay, I don't, I don't do weird, bro. <laughs> I don't do weird. At I all. think weird. I think it's few and far between the weirdness. I don't though, do no? weird, bro. Yeah, I don't do. I don't do like anybody that act like a big dog around me. <laughs> bro, what? Yeah, stop. That's that's weird. Stop. Yeah. That's weird. Stop that shit. Yeah, you ain't nobody. <laughs> your check, your house don't mean shit at all. I don't care who you are. Yo, human is not better than mine at all. We equal, 100%. I'm not bigger and better than you. You better come to me like, <laughs> all right, peer. That's it. That's all I want. I don't mm. want like, oh, Gary. No, no praise. I am not a god. Sure. I'm amongst men. I'm a human. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Just give me that and we can coexist. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. That's why, I, you feel me? People that I really like want to like give like is like a Tyshawn and a Nakil. You feel me? Mm. We relate on that level. Like we don't play that be a big dog shit to us at all. Tyshawn do that shit a little bit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Love that nigga to death. But it's like don't. That's just who he is, though. Too. I you mean, I got, me? I got a glimpse of it. I saw him. Uh, I think we were at Tampa Pro or something, and we were like in the back, and, and you know, people are waiting to you know uh, skate or whatever. Mm -hmm. And Eric cracks a beer. Eric Eric Costin. Yeah. <laughs> And fucking it sprayed on him and he looked around. He didn't he didn't care who Eric was. He's like, nigga, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, he, bro. He, fle he flexed on, yeah. on costume, but it wasn't I think he would have did that to anybody. Anybody, yeah. Don't, it wasn't don't. it wasn't it just And Eric it wasn't Costin trying to be like, fuck you either, though. No, too. He, that's he the was, best it, part. Immediately that's, he was like, Oh, my bad. My ain't bad, no you know? big but skateboarding have a lot of people that swear they big dog. You mm -hmm. real human, I promise you. 
<laughs> yeah. You real regular. You real human. I swear to God you are. You are not a guy. You do not float in the air. Oh, it's true. Don't give it's a true. Fuck what clip you got, who you was with, nothing. A lot of the skaters, I mean, they get praised at an early young yeah, age. Bro, too. Fuck that's, that. Yeah. That's, that's you better, why you better walk think, human as hell. Mm-hmm. You got two legs that can get you there and you can push with one of them feet, but you is not a guy, bro. Mm-hmm. I used to like bother me when I would come across people like that, and now I I I, I genuinely honestly I'm like, oh, I don't even don't care. Because I'm gonna adjust you. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you if yeah. motherfuckers do that shit like they big, I'm gonna be like, yeah, whatever, bro. Yeah. To me, you act like you bigger than a kid at a skate mm-hmm. shop. You a bitch. Your soul is bitch made. Don't do that to no children. Yeah, I, I be trip a out human, that too. bro. Yeah, be human, bro. This shit is hard as hell. Waking up, breathing, mm. and existing is hard. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make fun of you. I'll say a joke, but I don't mean it. I don't want less for you. Yeah. I don't want you to have nothing. I want you to win, but I want you to like kind of curate yourself because you might be making a couple mistakes that other people are saying about you mm. that you could probably work on. But that doesn't make me always correct. Hmm. I'm right. just looking out for you with some jokes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, lo- I love it, dude. So, I, yeah, love I, don't, it. I don't do that big dog shit, bro. That shit is ass, bro. Mm. Fuck is you weird on ass nigga? I'm not. Cause yeah, that shit is very rare these days. I don't be really seeing. I don't see too, too many, much too either. Many big dogs like that. Just because I, I don't know. For, being in the industry so long, man, yeah. don't get me wrong. We've seen some people, but y'all big dogs. Though, even though it's like not do it, y'all y'all you feel me? Y'all not finna see it. It be people trying to talk to people or act like this, and act like mm. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I had well, listen from one big dog to another. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <It's> <laughs> I, I have I have a real quick question. Come on, what uh, what's your? Because I'm th- never doing this again. Okay, this is well, a, well, this will be my. Perfect. I think this is my one you, shot. You are going to come back. Yeah, you're going to come I back. I think it's going to be my last interview though. For That's real? fine, but you can come, I'll back, come back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be with the people. I'm going to get this. So let's get it all out. What uh what's when it comes down to thrasher skater of the year like yeah. how does that work at thrasher like it's a have, couple guys in the office that decide what they like that year yeah. and it was like usually this is like a thing too it's like what did you do for the magazine uh, yeah. the videos are a big part mm-hmm. who made you what photo made kids subscribe what interview made them be like i gotta read it what did you do for the magazine Kids is talking about like that Tyshawn year, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get it. Which one? Right. Which one? The, 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 the second one. The first one or second? The, the second one. Second. The second one right. definitely. Oh, because caused, of him and when Nigel was he, right there exactly. too. Exactly. Okay. What? Mind you, I don't a hundred and ten percent know what went into that discussion for who decided to win skate of the year. But I tell you this: the number of mags that was purchased after that kickflip photo came oh. out. Mm. Yeah, is real numbers. Yeah, I mean, that was that pretty. Shit, yeah. Do you think that, that shit was in the New York Times? A Thrasher Mag cover, mind you, we don't care, but it was. Right, it rang bells. The New York Times is one of the biggest publishing things in the world, and a black kid's kickflip was in that a part of Thrasher magazine. Yeah, well, that was a time. That was a moment. You, you hardly but see he, iconic skate photos anymore, bro, right? Like that was bro. insanely iconic. So when you think about it, just think about what that whole, uh, there's YouTube videos, there's parts, there's all this shit. What is the origin of that magazine, that cover photo and the things inside? Yeah. That at that shit, if you think about when, if you, if say like this scenario, if your father started a magazine and somebody made you go buy the magazine in a time where people don't want to buy the magazines anymore. Mm hmm. How do you feel about that kid? Yeah. Delivering okay. that photo in that moment. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Think about every part and you can do trick for trick. Mind you, this shit is impossible too. <laughs> Let's go to the can Ollie's and do the whole talk about oh, you just Ollie's cans or he did another can part. Tyshawn Jones's tricks are impossible to do. Mm-hmm. There's very few humans that can do what this male can do on a skateboard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nigel Houston is a fucking artist. Very few humans can do what he can on a skateboard. I understand that. But skateboarding ain't never been, a, been about who's better. Skateboarding ain't never been about who better. 
since when are we like yeah the best guy mm -hmm. yeah it was just your moment yeah it was tj moment that's so, it so like do you would you again, say that it was tj's second moment he went crazy again like i always say i'm like people always like oh he should have won I'm like dude it's whoever thrasher wants who they yeah, want representing bro. them bro, yeah you can get certain feelings off bro that cover yeah he decided to deliver all his parts wanted all his coverage with thrasher he wanted everything to be with the magazine yeah came to the city switched nose blunt the blocks like he showed you know what i'm saying <laughs> mind you Nyjah came up came to clipper and dropped the Bars on that bitch. Yeah. But it just like it wasn't his moment. Yeah. Bro, Nigel was hurt half of 22. Yeah, all I thought was old, right? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Or tw yeah, 22. Yeah. Yeah. He was hurt all of like half of 22. Mm -hmm. He fucking tore his ACL. He didn't even skate to him. That wasn't even his year as a skateboarder. That wasn't a good year for him. That was one of the worst years of his life. It was the first injury. You think he obviously he didn't come back and do a lot of that stuff. He like did a lot of that stuff and decided to put that part out at the mm -hmm. time and that shit was beautiful we ain't taking shit from niger i'm not i don't give a fuck what nobody talking about that part was fucking insane bro, yeah. bananas, that bro. was yeah. cool. but don't ever in nobody life ever please it's the one thing i've ever i don't know who said it one of y'all motherfuckers not you ever you don't say that stupid <laughs> shit one of you motherfuckers said if he don't get it he never will did you say that who? Yeah, no, that, was Jerron. Jerron. that was Jerron. You said yeah. that, huh? I think I don't think Jerron. if he didn't get it this time, he never will. We can't. Maybe do, I could have said that, but I don't. We can't I, do I, that. I, I, any I, of us yeah, saying we that, can't to be do that to Nigel, bro. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. motherfucker might come back with another one. The way his brain works, yeah. he might wow us again. That like almost that hindered how amazing that boy is on the skateboard too. I think yeah. like because you gotta remember, y'all priest message, bro. Y'all the legends. We can't yeah. mind you. I say the dumb shit. But y'all, we, we say dumb shit too. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But we, you guys have yeah. a lot of experience in this. You guys are the right. people that were on the great sponsors and have a lot of appreciation. But so, th so, so if you say something about Nigel that and kids watch it, they might have been like, "Damn, Nigel's never gonna get it." Thrasher's kind of like played him. Like, bro, Nigel might fuck around and do something nuts, bro. Bust us I, all over the head. I think I, think I, I might have I might have said that. Yeah, yeah, I, bro, I think in that, usually you don't though. I think, that's why, I think in my that bad, moment, Kelly. Hey, it's all my good. Bad. I, I, take, it back. take it back. That was race. I did a race. I, I'm sorry. That was I race. I said I might. I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, even yeah. if I did, it was probably in the heat of the moment, moment. of just not f feeling that he deserved a good chance to get that. And yeah. I think a lot of I think a lot of people did. A lot of not a lot of not a lot of people can't satisfy everybody. Not a lot of people deserve Sodi that year. Two people deserve Skater the year that year. Yeah. Well, because like two Skater. Even though no, well, okay, say three because Louis skated his ass off. But, yeah, definitely. I want Louis to win. But the, yeah, and people was like the other four. I just love. I just love Louis. Um, there was one more. There was but one more like thing. wild card. That going back to the Nigel thing, I think there's just a lot of preconceived ideas of like who Nigel is and how he skateboards and who he skateboards and his growing up that doesn't align with like being a thrasher skater of the year. You know what I mean? Like but there Felber is that was there when he front blunt fakie the 18. I, it doesn't matter. It, it's I, like that's what I'm saying. This is like a guy that is loved by a lot of people 100%. up there. Like yeah. you got to remember who's up there now is one of the people that mentored Nigel through a lot of the stuff that he's going through. Cole is up there. Yeah, this yeah. is not. Cole we not. Matthews, there's yeah. not a thing against him at the office, bro. There's nope. nothing to be but like. But, he it, doesn't but in the, the public's bill. view, if I think there's a there's a. If Nigel gave us a it's cover, if Nigel gave never us a cover sure. or a moment, if he gave us one, bro. But I think people thought that that part was so fucking bananas, gnarly. Yeah, it but, was a different style. Of but what, who did he get that part to? What that part come out with? Oh, was it Nike? It was a Nike part, right? Yeah. What does that got to do with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does that got to do with it? Yeah. The most that, that, yeah, again, it, Okay. Yeah. That's, 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 a, that's true. I mean, it's, it's a Thrasher Skater of the Year. It, yeah. it is. Nike it is. Yeah. Because when, but is it skateboarding? That's why I think where people also get it a little bit. Like, and you know, this, is not, this is not true either. I'm not saying that it was, but I'm saying like, if you talking about like, that wasn't a Thrasher part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one he gave us was really good. The one he did with Ty. That yeah. was a nice part. A lot of people don't even remember that shit and it was fucked up. That shit had some shit in that it. That was too. like his warm up, right? Yeah, that <laughs> shit had some shit in it. No that shit. Yeah. And he gave it to us. Yeah. And that bitch. <laughs> that bitch had some shit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't even talk about that. But like his big part, bro, what? 
like that. Yeah. And that's not, I'm not sitting there like, oh, this was a part of it or this is the answers. There's a lot of different variables that go into it. And I don't like sitting in the office and deciding that. That's yeah. got to be just like you judging a contest it. and yeah. picking a trick. Like, it's hard to judge this shit because it goes really off emotion, feeling, Straight momentum, up. who the person is. And that's what I know you're saying about like, this person doesn't fit the bill of a Thrasher Skater mm -hmm. of the Year. But it's like, you feel me? I would hate that decision. You, I, bro, I would, would never ever want that decision. I wouldn't even want that decision. decision. Worst, it's a great decision. But I, I think even, it's awesome that there's only one thing that matters that much, and it can pick a guy to blow up that next year and yeah. get a shoe and get a thing and have momentum and what he can do with all that attention and power. Right. Because Tyshawn has not dropped the ball not one time. He may have not came out with a part for 23 and kind of like chilled and did his shit, but he made sure he kept giving us viral clips. Motherfucker, Ali the Ferrari. He just nolly healed in some Tims over a rail. Yeah. He's not putting skateboarding to the wayside at all. No, He's taking yeah. it to different audiences. He's a kid from the projects. And Nigel, you like, oh, you glazing. I don't give a fuck what you say in the comments. Say this, whatever. We come from the same backgrounds. We are kids that come from a struggle and wanted to do better for ourselves. We could just take our money and do bullshit. He just makes sure he's paying it forward to the thing that actually put food on his plate. I appreciate that. It's the mm -hmm. same thing I got for Suchu. When you keep going harder, this motherfucker's dad created autofocus. He's been good for a long time. He don't got to skateboard or hurt himself, but he go out all the time and want to do this thing and be the best at it. And Tyshawn don't want to be the best at it. He want to look good on it, do it right, do it for his city, make it make sense. You feel me? Mm. Motherfuckers feel that shit. We feel Nigel too, bro. Motherfucker don't do this shit out of like, oh, I'm just, bro, you can't be that gifted and fly down them rails. It don't matter. A rail will chuck you the fuck off and knock your ass out. That dude gets broke the We've seen off, it man. countless times. We yeah. love that shit over there. Don't think that we, oh, yeah, we don't fuck with you, bro. We wouldn't put the parts out then. Mm -hmm. There's skaters that can't put the parts out because they done did some goofy ass shit that you can't fuck with. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, It's not nothing against him. And y'all, you not in the office. I'm there. Don't tell me nothing. People can't speak about this shit. I get, I watch all these people do these podcasts, these interviews, say these things about the magazine, bro. It's cool, bro. Do your shit. Say your shit. Say your piece. I'm over there. I know well, what's going It's all going speculation, on. too. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's, it's outside all looking do, at... All you can do is speculate even, from outside the club who's shaking ass. Even us. <laughs> okay. But even us. Even us is... Hey, I wonder who's shaking ass in that motherfucker. You don't know, bro. I you wonder that there. all the time. You feel I mean, me? Yeah, yeah, but, but, but we can also influence because, you know, there was times like for let's just say for tj rogers yeah. he was getting overlooked and yeah. we said something and, think, then, and then the next day that shit was on thrasher i think i think tj rogers bro that was a fucking beautiful year for that man yeah like, going through chemo oh, yeah, he, and skating he should have definitely been on there and he got left out and then yeah. the next day they put him on because well, i don't think a lot of people know his story right now I don't think enough people knew his story for it to really be. Well, he kind of yeah, he, he needed broke to, open he, that he needed year to, dude. to just be on there as a nominee, no matter what. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's that yeah. was a problem, I yeah. thought, and and they fixed it, yeah. which was great. Fine. No, but they he fixed like it right away. Yeah. He broke. He like like got out of his shell and broke open that year. Yeah. He like he grew into himself, which is like he's a like not old, but but you know he's been, around, he been yeah, around. I mean, yeah, motherfucker like switch switch one eighty del Toro in what yeah. two thousand like nine ten. Like, Here, here's sure. the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. Let me say this. It is all speculation, yeah. even us, because Fact. we are down here. We exactly. don't. Uh, we're not calling Tony. We're not calling Burnett. Who? We're not calling. You know what I mean? Like. We're not calling people to get the inside scoop. Like we're Facts. outside looking in us as exactly. well, and that's what we have to do is but go lot, by. That's ahead. what we have to do is go by speculation, and, yeah. and we are a podcast. So Kelly's got his opinion, I have my opinion, and and Jerron has his, which opinion, is respected you know? at the same time. It's just like the thing like, is, but we don't. We, we have to. But a lot of kids feel like shit. Law, they just saying shit, thinking it is what it is, and it's not. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But that's mm. the problem. But they don't understand that that's just your opinion, your speculation. Yeah. You try to iterate that, you'd be like, totally. in my opinion, I hear y'all. Yeah. say like how i think and what i feel exactly. and kids go well that's a legendary dude he gotta be knowing them and just trying not to really say something it's like no i go to the office and get my check at that place <laughs> that fucking 49 dollars and 50 cents that i pick up every month <laughs> i go there i thought it was 75 cents no mm -hmm. how's it going <laughs> i go there and do that i know right. i know what the thought process is in there i just don't know when they decide why right mm -hmm. i don't think that we speak out of pocket by any means i Hell just no. think that we no. just never we never, we, never. we speak what, what just on niger bro, bro hey everything bro, else we, everything else i've ever said i'm like all right cool like that's just but when it was like if he doesn't get it now he never will almost broke my heart it's niger houston bro yeah that's niger bro we can't play with that man bro mm -hmm. 
I, you feel me? And I'm not, hey, mind you, like how you said, I love skateboarding and skateboarders, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It's like, first off, Nyjah shout out when he was coming up, when he had uh, me, myself, and I, and he like, and I was talking about it on skate, or was it Rise and Shine? No, Rise and Shine. Because me, myself, and I yeah, was P-Rod. Yeah, that was P-Rod. Rise yeah. and Shine, when he was coming up, he shouted out the skate line thing when I talked about him, and that gave me a boost. Sheckler as well. Let me say something real quick. I think I that I think the reason what, when you're bringing up something, I get what you're saying. Here, here's yeah. the thing, though, is, is also we we are going off of pat. We were going off of our experiences, yeah. right? There are skaters in the past that this, have way deserved skater of the ooh. year that have never gotten it, mm -hmm. right? So it's yeah. also going off of experience that we have in the industry of him probably saying like. Oh well, if he doesn't get it now, he'll never get it. We're just going off of like there past. Was never a skater, Guy Mariano, in our life, Guy Mariano. Okay, you want to go to that time? Let's go. When that came out, when Pretty Sweet dropped, remember I rode that wave. I felt like David shouldn't got it over him, mm -hmm. but who did David go out and do all that gnarly shit with? Took Jake on the trips. Was I get with it. the I, Mac. No, I, I get, get it. it. And, but, and Guy's year. It was a lot of skateboard mag stuff, a lot of trans world stuff. It was very yeah, few. Yeah. There and was that, no Thrasher cover. I there, think. And, I think that's why I. Because remember, this is Thrasher. I scary. know. You know I know. But I'm I think you. that's why everybody kind of because it's it's skateboarding, Bro, right? Exactly. But you are. But the, the, the there is of, focus the on certain what politics. Do you want what do, it is? What do you want to do for the book, though? The guy yeah. get it? Did guy you even have understand? A, did guy the, even have an interview in 2012 in the book? I don't think did so. We have I mean, a, I don't did know. we have a pretty sweet anything? Yeah. I don't think I'm I got sure. there. I got there a year, year later. Year. I got there a year later, but I don't you feel me? I don't, I don't think I don't think the industry understood that. But that that's point. how I felt. That's yeah, why I was yeah. like, bro, I was on the guy train. I was like, bro, I used to make a parody about it like at least every two months. Like, damn, David, here comes David. I took it from Guy Gonzalez. <laughs> like, bro, guy switch trade nose grind a rail at like 37. The fuck? Or actually, thirty two at the time. Yeah. Whatever, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, but it was like after everything he's battled. Right. You feel me? So, I felt like y'all on the outside. Look, now that I'm in there, I'm like, damn. And it ain't favoritism. It ain't like hey, you got to kiss our ass to get it. It's just like, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this momentum? Because Tyshawn's like, that's the momentum. That's the book. It's a business at the end of the day. I know they're protecting nah, their business. So yeah, it's their but, business to hey, do bro, what and they I'm not here do. to I'm not here to be on that either. I'm right. here to be as like as transparent and open as yeah, possible. No, for sure. We appreciate you know that. Yeah. I'm here to be like, even though that's the family and I gotta protect it, I'm here to just try to like give like the idea of understanding whenever you look at it, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Like Mason was like, hey, bro. Yeah. Oh God! Well, you said it good though. Yeah. It's not. It's not about Suchi who's the was best. Like, Suchi was like, "Hey, bro." Milton was like, "Hey, bro." Yeah, they. The shot was like, "Hey, bro." Yeah, but like you said, it's not about who's the best, right? Who's yeah, the nah, best? It's bro. It's, it's about, like it's it's a it's definitely not. It ain't like this. yeah, because it's not like we doing contest tricks. Like, well, Nigel skated this rail, but Tyshawn Trey flipped that. Here's the at, thing though: is right. that I think oh, Utah was you, in the in the mix. Yeah, I think yeah, maybe exactly. Sorry. But Sorry. you got to look at how the outside world looks at that skater of the year. It, it is for me, I mean, even for me, it's about qual. It's about quality over quantity. It's yeah. about what that person's putting out, what that person's doing. We all know how 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 much it takes to produce a skateboarding part you know yeah. like we've all been there we've all so but outsiders if you, if looking you read, in if you read in that book in a calendar year how many times did you see your guy that you wanted yeah no, that, I, I, mean, I, I understand i understand what you're saying that makes, that makes i'm just saying that, from the from the I'm outsider's just, from, perspective yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah, skater yeah. of yeah. the year yeah thrasher magazine you just saying skater of the year you're okay. taking away the first two Parts I understand. I understand. Thrasher magazines. I'm talking for the everybody that's you know it's it's you know what I'm saying, dude. But you, exactly. But you're talking from an open tense, like you see that right there. Race for Skater of the Year 2024. You don't have race for the race for Thrasher magazine. Yeah. Skater of the Year. Yeah. That's what you're missing. We don't have just the Skater of the Year. We have a Thrasher. We don't. So we our, don't. Because Nyjah Houston, trick-wise, should have been a skater of a... But like, not even that year. Yeah. That wasn't a good year for him in here. That wasn't his moment, bro. Yeah. 
God, real quick, we were talking that that one same year. It was Uto that was the other guy, and we were talking. You were like, yeah. "Well, he won the Olympics and blah blah blah." You know, pretty part, and they were like, "Wait, Thrasher probably doesn't give a shit about that." Yeah, like, right? Yeah. Thrash, so, right. but we ain't giving. But we were thinking differently. None about of that, that shit, bro. You know? Yeah, that shit fire. We love it. It's big for the guy. That's yeah. good and nice for him. You know what I'm saying? But like, Thrasher ain't gonna be. I don't know. I don't think we posted. I, I'm not on social media. We're here to talk about this, but this like, is the reason wait. why we're doing this board right here. Yeah, and it's not because it's for us to kind of keep track of what's going on, but, but also right. to f to to see if our choices line up with the right. The whole choices. title, though. Yeah, you got to write the title out. My when, name when, is Gary Rogers. When I did that, <laughs> when we did that, we did my didn't, name is Gary Rogers. Right. Put my name on whatever I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? You're not putting. You just have Sodi. The, the, it's the race for Sodi. What for, <laughs> for, for who's Sodi though? Rick Reynolds. Like, see, look at you trying to be cute. Now you so try to be cute. What we're doing though is, I guess, <laughs> yeah, but okay. Like, we're at the same the time, we're also just having fun. Uh, that's, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's what it's, it's like. All about. That, that's the problem though. But think about this. Our, yeah. our having fun has missed the idea of that. When there was six different magazines, one would still pick their favorite guy, and there was still these other magazines that can pick viewers' choice and this yeah, and that and the other thing. It's There's true. just one now, and he's. We're not supposed to pick everybody's favorite person. We're supposed to pick the one that decided to have the momentum for our shit. That makes Facts. sense. I get it. I get it. I get it. I yeah, get it. It's not the whole globule. Now we have to protect the whole globule. That's the only place you can really put your parts out. But now people are trying to separate, do their own things and whatever, this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. We get that too. But really, bro, you got to write the whole title out. Whenever you even had that board, put Thrasher Magazine Skater of the Year so a kid can be like, that's the Thrasher thing. No, well, here's right. why. If, if we would have put that up without talking to Thrasher, how would that have like rolled out? You said what? If we oh. would have put that up with Thrasher on it, yeah. Before talking to Thrasher or anything, how do you think that would have rolled out on their behalf? Would they have said something? Hell no, it would have made sense. Also, to me, it's yeah, like Skater weird. of the Year is Thrasher. Be, it's like it's like weird. an unsaid yeah. thing. It's like, 100%. It's like I, but it is Thrasher, and you got to yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. that kids don't just think that the guy won skateboarding. Tyshawn didn't win skateboarding. Yeah. Yeah. Tyshawn didn't win skateboarding. Mm -mm. Thrasher skater, yeah. Thrasher. He just won Thrasher's, Thrasher's pick. Yeah. But here, what I say, we, we do that bag. Nigel oh. for sure won skateboarding in 2020, in 2022. When he we won over hearts. People wanted him to win. The internet, the people that watch parts, the ones that seen the Nike, they, you feel me? He definitely like won no, people yeah. over. He won people that. over. He won without winning. But Tyshawn yeah. did his shit for the magazine, bro. If we, with that list right there, at the end of the year, what we have it all, but this, this is skateboarding in general, we have whoever's at the top, we yeah. can look at it and be like, which out of these guys, the top person, did it the best for Thrasher? And then we could probably pick, the, I want to see if that's how it works. Then, like, bro, then you will start to get closer to the yeah, idea. Exactly. Remember that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm- We don't sit here. We like yeah. It's like, it's not our fault that a lot of other- magazines are not here and a lot of other things have uh fucking slam picks their own guy yeah. rob pace was the sody for them mm -hmm. yeah he yeah, was the yeah, skater yeah. of the year for but we just for some reason that's australia's that's not the world but he was a sody they did a european sody one year and i went and picked that there's a sody in europe that they do it's called e sody but that's not everything but yeah. this one is everything in the whole world for some reason and if we pick something that don't feel like it was the whole world, it's a problem. And I'm, honestly, Nigel Houston's influence is always going to be bigger than everybody's if he decides to drop. It's Nigel. You feel me? I feel so you. So I'm trying to get people to understand. No, there's no but to that. I'm. I okay. walk in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> I got the. I got the. I got the password. Let me rephrase. To get in that. the building, like when I press the code. It turns green and I open the door and I walk in and I grab hoodies. <laughs> and say, Gary Rogers. Nah, I guess that. <laughs> I hate you. I fucking hate you. Oh, I hate you. That was so good. No, but I, 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 I love... This is what I love, though. This Hell is yeah. why I love to have a talk yeah. show, and this is why I love that oh, you, me and Jeron hey, and think Kelly I, can sit here. Do you think I'm getting like emotional? No, 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 no. I was like, no, no, no. I was like, no, sure. no. I want y'all to know. No. I just want to say this because I'm not By even really means, talking no. to y'all. I'm talking to kids so no. they understand, like, how I understand, you. but this yeah. is the thing: is like I this is what's ha but this Hell is what yeah. is, is great about having a conversation. Hell yeah! And a lot of people don't have conversations <laughs> anymore. Hell it's yeah! It's just about throwing their shit onto the internet, and hopefully people will read it and respond to it. They're not having a conversation with anybody. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I love this yeah, because 100%. it's a conversation, man. Yeah. You know that's what is. 
That's what I love. I love talking. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love and that's talking. what I love about having opinions. Yeah. We all have our own opinions. 100%. You know? But we got to make sure that, like, while we're talking, we can also teach a little bit. Yeah, but I, was, I, I, I agree. I agree. But also, I want to have fun. I'm, I'm like you. I'm com- Mr. Jokey, Jokey, sarcasm. Yeah, communication is supposed you know? to be also a lesson, too. So if we're talking about this and, like, there are kids that are fans of all this and have all these opinions and are getting – kids are getting bummed out on skateboarding. Because of like, yeah, because of the language that we put out. The fact that we're missing that one book picks their favorite guy is making other kids like, damn, like these dudes don't listen to me. I'm bummed on this shit. I don't want to do it no more. I'm going to do something else. Or if I do it, I'm going to just be, bro, a lot goes in. I want yeah. the, the down up is like based off of language like that and that's not what i'm saying pointing at just you guys a lot of people do it a mm-hmm. lot of other people with shows and a lot of other people that are saying things and a lot of other people that have platforms are saying these things and they don't even got the password to the building mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. but that's what the internet is nowadays it's yeah. just splewing into the I, atmosphere I, I have the password gary rogers ding, ding, ding. password 50 50 to the building <laughs> it's 50 50 yeah 5050 oh, Hell no, nah, we'll never do nothing with five. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love it, man. I love it. I love the talking. It, 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 it's what the internet is right now, right? It's mm. you got a lot of people just splewing shit. Shout out know? to everybody creating. There you go. All of them. All them kids that talk. All my sons. <laughs> I love all my sons. I love all my children. Do you keep up with a lot of that stuff that's going on yeah, on the internet yeah, I gotta, or no? I got to watch my kids, bro. You do? Okay. okay. But my thing is, is I don't keep up with the stuff on social media. I don't care. But you do. You'll, you'll click on your check. You off social media now. Yeah, I'm off it. Oh my you'll, God. You'll, How long has that been? I'm sorry. Five, five years. Five years. Off five years media. I've been off. But so you'll check in on people yeah, on the internet. Yeah. Or I'll get links. I get stuff. Okay. I, I keep it circulated so I can mm. like, but I'm not on that shit. Right, right. right. No, I get you. I get you. Time for that poison. I hear playing. you, bro. I already got off drugs. What the fuck I'm finna watch visual drugs for? That's all that shit is. <laughs> bro, you, I mean, you got a point. <laughs> but yeah, I, I click on people's stuff and I watch their things and I hear their jokes and I see what they saying and I see what they doing. And some people is making impacts and people making money. And it's like, if you took my idea and you made money, psh, salute. There you go. Be better than me. Be better than I ever was. See my mistakes and clear them up. Play mm-hmm. the game. If you want to play it, because I never did. So go ahead. You can go ahead and play the game better than I ever played it. So shout out to you. Well, the interesting part is we've we've laid the groundworks yeah. for people to, you know what I mean? Like exactly. there was no skateboarding. There were skateboarding podcasts before us, but we took it, ran with it. We've laid the groundwork for a lot of people just to yeah. come in and be like, oh, here's a formula. Boom, 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 good, good. Yep. We'll start a podcast. Exactly. Easy. You laid the groundwork for what you do yeah. and what other people coming in. Yeah. You're, do, you were, you're doing what like majority of streamers are doing nowadays yeah, right like right. you know so shout out to all of them yeah, yeah. man everybody's just trying they to you know talk. do their thing yeah yada yada, yada man <laughs> well, now it's yada 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 huh? yeah we yeah. gotta wrap it up man <laughs> yada, 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 yada. <laughs> but yeah so i uh, go, ahead. Right, go ahead no i i just i just want to it's it's fun i love conversations like this. i know bro, I do. It's so I do. i'm so happy to be here bro like uh, bro, the the fact that i get to here, like bro. The, the fact that I'm, like, engaging with y'all, like, m- mind you, like, I watched a lot of your expedition stuff. Oh, wow. A nice. lot of your, like, your clean skateboarding was, like, brought to you by my boy Devon Watson. Because after, like, Paul, he would only want to watch people that landed things bolts. So he would, like, bring me new skateboarders that actually landed things really proper. Mm. And that was you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's so, crazy to hear. Um, Thank you, man. Yeah, in fact. So mm-hmm. it's, like, that was, like, young stuff that I was coming up. And then Jerron, bro. Just elegance all the way bro and business and all things that you've done bro that shit is fire bro i appreciate man, that you bro. feel me like that means so a lot to right, dude. save the best for last man. <laughs> <laughs> and chris Go ahead, man. create a platform where i can speak because i don't mm-hmm. really like to speak outside of what i do it's pretty tight thank you i thank you for that and you know raj too raj me and Raj, Raj don't say hi to me when I be coming through, bro. I've seen him like 15 times when I've been over here. No, but you say you yell at him through a phone. I bro. But I'll be like, Rock, bro. It's how is he supposed to say hi to you if you yell through a car? Like, but I'll be like, Raj, Raj. When was the last time you saw me? Bro, when I was here two trips ago. So it was like last, it was last year, I think, like pushing for pink. I was like rolling around here. And we did that in September, or October. I mean, September. August or September? Roger's like, that was you? September, yeah, it was him. Yeah, it was no, me. You were just walking around because Matt stay over here. So mm-hmm. it was like I was around mm-hmm. and I would just be seeing Raj and I was like, ah. So, but yeah, I love this, bro. I'm, I'm super thankful for this I'm shit. thankful for you. And, up, uh, yep. Thanks for saying I love yeah. talking shit too, bro. 
You're, hey. good. You're pretty good at it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But, you know, another thing is, too, like, I've always been misconstrued as, like, a shit talker and a hater. I got that a lot earlier. Mm. They were like, damn, you're the best hater in skating. I was like, you think I hate these niggas, bro? Like, right. I don't hate no skateboarder. I don't hate not one. <laughs> yeah, they really think about it. Let me think about this. Yeah. I don't hate not five skateboarders. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, like you were just finding nah, comedy squash, in squash, skating. Hold on, wait, wait. Squash that. Ten. Squash that. Eleven. It's about twenty-five. Yeah, maybe it's. No, maybe it's only, three, it was only. Three. It was only two when we squashed it. Okay, okay, we okay, squashed okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know it's people that don't like me, and I. Hey, bro, if you don't like me, I'm gonna tell you like this to your face. Look at me in the camera or whatever. When you go to the gas station, you buy a lottery ticket. I hope you pick the right numbers. There you go. Hundred percent. There you go. If you hate me to death and you want to see me die the worst death I could, I hope when you buy a lottery ticket, you pick the right numbers, and you feed your entire family line forever. Mm -hmm. Tell them what numbers to pick. I don't know. (laughs) Because then I will pick the right number. I've never bought a lottery (laughs) ticket. I've never gambled. I've never gambled. I've never done. I don't even drink coffee. I have no addictions. So I'm saying that with a clear mind, very focused, that if you hate me, you hate my soul, you hate everything I've ever said, you hate how I carry myself, you hate my high energy, skate line, you think that I'm, if you think I'm, think I'm better than you, I, I'm not. I'm just Gary, and I want you to have a way better life than me if you hate me, bro. I think you got a lot more people that love you. Yeah, and definitely. And that's who I fuck with, bro. Straight that's yeah. who my life is yeah, towards. Definitely more people yeah, love man. you. The yeah. f- the few that fuck with me on this planet is who I keep pushing for. <clears throat> you feel me? Don't matter. That hate shit don't matter. You're not going to be at my birthday party and on my funeral. So I can't sit here and just think about you all the time if you don't fuck with me, bro. I got to think about who fuck with me. Do you get like normal cake or like ice cream cake at your birthday? I don't eat sweet. Oh. What do you have like for, what do you do at your birthday? Burritos. Party? What do you put candles Burritos. on? I don't. You don't put candles on nothing? I don't celebrate my birthday. Why not? I don't like my birthday. It just reminds me I'm being pulled through time. That's all. This is like a little reminder that I'm being pulled through okay. time. I ain't never going to text you a happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, don't. It's You're just like a reminder. It's just like, no, no. no. Like literally, my birthday, <laughs> hey. Hey, like low key, what day is so it's Saturday. my birthday was on Tuesday. Happy you birthday. Nope, nope, you ain't getting one from me. <laughs> right, well, I, bet, I bet she's gonna say you don't believe me. Thank no, you. You don't have to eat no cake. I don't believe I don't believe in nope, I ain't getting no happy birthday. I don't believe in my birthday, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't got no time to celebrate. I already okay. had a good ass time to celebrate. My life has been a party, so good shit, man. Let the birthday go. Oh man, okay. Yeah. Get some ribs and put birthday candles in the ribs. Oh, put some birthday candles in the ribs. I don't eat ribs no more. What do you yeah, eat? I gave up How about ribs. a steak? How about a steak? A couple wait, of candles wait, in the steak? If it's a ribeye mm, and okay. I didn't eat all day and okay. it's like five o'clock, I'll eat it. But I'm not eating after five. We do anymore. A1 sauce or we just do either? barbecue sauce? I'll even go to the gas oh, station. Barbecue sauce on the steak? Yeah. Okay. 100%. I was at, uh, I was at Rube Chris one time. <sighs> And I left to go to Jack in the Box to get barbecue sauce because they didn't have any more. (laughs) And I went back in there and they were like, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on. You were at Roos. Anybody out there that doesn't know Roos Chris, we've talked about it a thousand times on the show. It is the most delicious upscale. I was trying to have that be an, an ignorant story. And that just like was like, oh yeah, he's getting money. Fuck, I'm poor. No, it's the most ups. It's it's really good. It's Stevie Williams once said it's his McDonald's, man. It's, it's bro, it's Stevie. Amazing. Stevie did something amazing. And when we were in Italy, I mean, we, he ordered some pasta and he put sugar on the pasta. They were tripping on him. <laughs> he was pouring sugar all on the pasta. They were like, what? Oh my god! I've never seen anyone do that Trip before. Either. Out. Stevie, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, let me finish my story. You went. Go ahead. You went. Then you went to J- Jack in the Box. Yeah, it was like a Jack in the Box. It was like you, close by. And you went. Then you picked up barbecue sauce and brought it back. Yeah, it was like it's across. It was like in San Francisco, so it was like across the street was like a Jack in the Box without a drive through, and okay. I just went inside and grabbed like barbecue sauce and took it back to the Rue Cruise. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Go on. I just want to um, make sure I heard. That I was gonna right. say a Stevie Williams story. That was mm. like another good one. This is crazy because like remember the early days like when DJ can't KO like all that. I was on the block and I went up. And Stevie was like, bro, watch out what you say on that little show. Somebody might, you feel me? And I was like, I ain't tripping off anything that I come with. I was like, bro, I don't care. Like, I'm going to just say what I'm saying. Like, I'm having fun. And he was like, oh, I like this little nigga, bro. You know <laughs> <laughs> and after that, bro, I was valid with Stevie. Because it was like, it was one of those moments where he was really trying to test who I was. Yeah. I've had a lot of that, too. Yeah. I had a lot of, like, who are you test. 
Like interesting. That, that's that, you just did it exactly what I would envision Stevie bro, would do. Bro, he was like, <laughs> all right, because I think like Stevie's like, don't want you know. And I think I got it. I'm like two weeks later. I said some slick shit just to like be like, yeah, like I'm gonna roast you too, because you're an OG. You killing in business. You pulling up in Rolls Royce like you're doing your shit, bro. I'm gonna get on your ass like. <laughs> He like wore some funny shoes or something. I like made fun. Oh, it's like well, this was years later. He like was doing the off whites and they looked crazy. And he had like the ripped jeans. Mm. Oh, I was like, I gotta roast okay. Stevie because you know Stevie really about his shit. He really, but he like was just testing what type of, of time course. I was on. Of course, you know how Stevie did. Definitely. He be trying to test with it, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I fuck with this thing." I, was yeah. like, I just find it. He so, waited for that response. I yeah, find he it do so, hell yeah, and I was like, bro, like, I was just like, he was in front of Kale with them dudes. They were wearing all black. He was with some people. They had no colors on. They was all wearing black, and they was all looking at me like hawks. And I was like, "I don't care, bro. Like, I'm gonna say what I'm saying. Thank you. Though. Can I skate the garage? Like, <laughs> oh, the fucked, kale store. Yeah. Kale store. Fucked with me, bro. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I find it fascinating that mm. they've you've gotten tested before. I, I just find it fast yeah. because it's like I don't think that the people that do that know like watch your show. I'm an African American, bro. I know that it's like. That's what's gonna happen. It always comes to like some test. Like I get that shit a lot. I think because it's like I think people think I'm trying to bully because of like roasting. And they yeah, yeah. yeah. They understand, I, bro. Because if you looking at me screaming and slobbing and nappy hair, like why the fuck would you take me seriously? <laughs> right when I pulled up to the premiere, they like all 2012, 2013. Who's that motherfucker? Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, it's like this shit dumb, bro. It's, it's crazy. Skate line dumb as hell. Like I was in a vagina, like wobbling, like one time, like a like a for an effect. We had like oh. panties, like, like moving. What's going on? Yeah, and I was like an effect on the show. Like we just did dumb <laughs> shit, bro. And I was like, I'm telling the news from a vagina, nigga, or a pussy, nigga. Like I said, like some just dumb shit. Like I'm just being an idiot, bro. Like why are you sitting here, like trying to be like, who Take are you? Ser- taking it not, serious. Yeah. Not Stevie though. He was just like actually trying to be like, hey, watch out what you say on right. that shit, because. I slap shit out you is what he was trying to say, right, right. and I was like, "Hey, bro, I might say some shit, and I'm gonna pull back up." And when you feel me, you my big dog, like yeah. you, you know what I'm saying, like you a you a you're a older me type shit, you know what I'm okay. saying? Because I don't like the big dog energy, but it was like I know what type of time it is, like who you are and what's going on, you mm-hmm. doing your shit, but it's like. I'm not finna back down or not finna, mm-hmm. yo, nah, I just be playing, bro. Like, you know, I'm just. I like made you go, like, nah, bro, I'm good. Like, nah, nah, hell nah. I like was like, <laughs> yeah, because it was like, and he loved that. Yeah. It wasn't like he was trying to, that shit was fire, bro. I love, and that was like a good ass moment because then he was just like, bro, every time I got the car, I could skate the kale park. Mm-hmm. There you go. I just go back in there. He would be like, bro, take him. He like showed me to a front desk dude that whenever we went in there, we just went straight to the kale park. That no, Steve fire. is a real one. Yeah, sure. He is. He's, he's, he's crazy. Oh, gee, man. He's crazy. Listen, you got to come back and hang out with us again, man. This Please. has been amazing. I love Straight wrapping up, out with bro. you. That's I love hearing great, the stories. Dude. It's. A, I love it. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. This is lit, bro. Come on, bro. I'm glad I did it, bro. I'm glad I came. I'm glad I got this out. Skate line happened. Mm-hmm. A lot of business. There you go. Made it to television. Did some movies. Don't care about none of that shit. Don't want to mm-hmm. be an actor. Don't want to be a comedian. Don't want to stay in entertainment. Don't want to play a social media game. Don't want to further the YouTube thing. Don't want to do none of that shit. What do you want to do? I just want to chill. Okay. But also kill it. How if do, I can. How do you do both? Working on his businesses. You feel me? I'm chilling okay. and killing it, bro. Okay. It's weird. I like, want to chill and kick it. Because chill. Yeah, cause you know how you say you got to love it? Yeah. I love it so I feel at peace with whatever I'm doing. It don't stress there me out. There you go. It doesn't stress me out. Sometimes it gets a little weird, but... It, it has to. Because for sure. It, the only time it gets weird is... But it's weird all is positive like, things that you're like trying to lean yeah, towards. Exactly. So. so it's like really... So that's what I'm doing. Okay. okay. Don't wanna, I don't want to do... What's next for Gary? I'm doing it. There you go. Love so it. what's next? <laughs> Hundred mil. Okay, baby. <laughs> to the top. Let's go. Ten percent. Remember? What is it? Oh yeah, we gotta play basketball, bro. You, you mean? crazy yeah. as hell. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm crazy. Crazy as hell. What you, why? You, yeah, Dub see me play. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that was like t- ten years ago. That doesn't matter. matter bro. What do you mean? <laughs> don't matter. I, this is this is this is overflowing from our first episode of the of the skate grind, uh, grind, grind, grind and wine X Games. Yeah. So we're talking about basketball. Mm. You who? You think bro? I could? You think you could take me? I got Gary all over you. Are you kidding me, yeah. bro? Yeah. 
Hmm. Yes. You don't understand, bro. Uh, you don't understand. <laughs> you for real? I can take Are both you of you anyway. He <laughs> 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 had to get serious for a minute. Point guard. Doesn't matter. What are you? What does that Gary. mean? Have you <laughs> <laughs> Rogers, bro. No point. <laughs> Dogging you, bro. Yeah. You're, you can't, it's point guard doesn't matter when it's one on one, dude. Yeah, bro. Who you gonna pass it to? Yeah. All that talent, <laughs> all that court vision all for saying, what? Like, all, saying, all that court vision for what? I'm quick. I'm John quick. Stockton was a point guard. Motherfucker got like eight points, ten thousand assists. I'm quick. It's true. You know so am saying? I. And okay, I'm we'll back, and we'll I'm six back, okay. two, six one six I'm two six, in I'm shoes. Six one, I'm six zero. So I'm six two six in shoes, <laughs> and I weigh two hundred and fourteen pounds. I weigh one forty five. Exactly, bro. <laughs> He's gonna bulldoze right over you, man. And I don't even have to. I'll call a down. foul. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Bulldoze me over. It's a yes, foul. Sick, bro. Yo, Chris Roberts has lost his damn mind. Yeah. Kelly, will you go get yeah, Gary yeah. some stuff to take home with him? Yeah. What, to, size, uh, what size gear? I'm a large. Okay. I don't need no more goddamn stuff, but I'll take you it. Gonna, I love you y'all. You're going to take some nine club stuff. Of course, dude. of course. I have to. For sure, it's man. Sure. I would love to play a little bat, bat one-on-one with you, though. That would be fun, man. A little basketball. You for yeah. real? Yeah. I'd, I used to play. He, he, just, spanky, he just wants bro. to play. You know, you no, 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 but we, I'm I'm spanky, spanky, but 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 we used to play all the time. Spanky, we would go, we would play with all the girl and chocolate dudes. We I'm going to spank every one of y'all, bro. Yeah, no, basketball. No, There's not a single uh-uh, person. No. And any of that. Uh-uh. I love it. Yeah, bro. No. The, the, the dude in Canada, bro, the homie Safest, bro. The dude from the bunt, mm. he barely got me. He got me on like. Oh, he got you though. Yeah, he got me. I was oh, wow. t- We played three games and that's not it. I should have just played one to 15. He, so we'll play four. So wait, he beat you in two games. Bro, you're not beating me just because of like. Are you kidding what's happening. me? Yeah, dude, nah. I think it'd be a close game, to be nah, honest. You, nah. How is your jumper? Amazing. Okay. How's your crossover? Amazing and a half. How's your, <laughs> how's your, how's your spin move? Kobe Bryant's my hero, bro. Okay, me too. January 26th was the worst day of my life. Mm. Ten days after my birthday. Damn. He went down in a helicopter. His mm. That was really, mm. really yeah. sad. Like, So I'm talking about footwork, study. Because right. like, I come from like an athlete background family. So mm. for me, even though I don't have family members. They don't fade exist. away? The you fade. The fade away. Okay. Turn, Turn around. around. For, okay. Left hand. Okay. So like, oh. I, used to, I used to always have like a, a fear of my, my right hand being cut off as a kid. Mm. That's weird. And not being able to have, so I learned how to write a little bit okay. and shoot basketball with my left hand. Really? Well, thank you, Kelly. Mm. I got some good stuff here for you. How y'all Listen. get a stance sock and I ain't got one, bro? Fuck stance. Now I'm saying, I'm just saying, I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> Push for pink stance socks. I need one. But first of all, first of all, <laughs> Gary Rogers. Damn, man. bro, that's like a household name, huh? Yeah. Or actually, a couple people know. That's nice. <laughs> I got a common name too. Chris Roberts, pretty common. Pretty good. Yeah. That's tight. Crab and shit. Yeah. Weird. Jerron black as hell. I love that <laughs> shit. That's why. What about Kelly? <laughs> well, I always, wonder, sure, yeah. I always wonder like how did how did how did that like in when you were younger, how did that do how did I you I got do made it? fun of at school a lot. Okay. Yeah. I was like Kelly well, if a girl's name that, that was what it was back then, they would yeah. say that. And my name was Kelly Hart and they call me Smelly Fart. And I was just like, oh, I get it. I'm just used to it. Didn't, it didn't. I'd actually kind of. It made me feel weird when I was a kid because a lot of people would say it over and over. Mm. Get bullied a lot. But I was just like, yeah, I'm fine. I could beat you at basketball, so it's all good. Oh, here we go. You can hoop? Yeah, I played basketball. I played basketball, baseball, football all in high school, all to high school. And then I fell in love with skating. Can you I, still hoop? Yeah. You can <laughs> say that confident. No, I still play. I mean, yeah. I, I, shoot, I shoot all the time. I what? live right next to the basketball courts. To so the tennis courts? Yeah. Oh, I just don't I don't play against people that much. Yeah, I doggy. Yeah. That's the only time I'm competitive. I don't want to be better than anybody except for basketball. Because I, <laughs> I never made it, bro. I never got to go to the NBA, so I just like to talk crazy yeah, like, yeah. for hoop. But, Did but you yeah. try Anyways. to play in like high school or anything? Bro, I couldn't do shit at school, bro. I was like banned from so much in school. Mm-hmm. I wasn't allowed to do shit. I jumped out of the window of a class one time. <laughs> Why? I threw a skateboard at a wall. I told a sub I was going to kill him. Like I was just a bad... Yeah, mm. I was, yeah, what right. floor did you jump out of the first? It was like it was like one of those trailers. Oh, so okay. it was like a it was like a little maybe oh, like, cuz it was above the yeah, but it was like that's dangerous. It's a hazard at school to jump well, out the yeah, window. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like against yeah, so yeah. many laws in high school like right. Jumping out of a window during like an in session class is like a fucking and no no I found out. 
I got in a lot of trouble. So. I've never seen anyone jump out of window. I wasn't allowed. Yeah, exactly. I was just doing. <laughs> no, no, no. The cool part. The cool part was I jumped out. I jumped out the window, saying something to the homie, and then I tried to walk back around and get back in class. And the teacher was calling like the the school police officers, like, no, no, do not come back in here. Go to the office. And I was like, all right. You got detention. She smelled like peanut butter anyway, though. But like, you got detention. <laughs> Bro, they like damn near. I got suspended. Oh shit! Yeah, I got expelled from that school too. Mm. Later on, I just it was a while. Yeah, I couldn't go. I couldn't go off for sports. Didn't make grades. Couldn't play in middle school. Got on one team one time. Got in trouble in class. Wasn't allowed to play on that team. Yeah, I only fin- I only finished one season in my whole life. Eight games, third grade. Mm. That was damn. it. NJB. You play NJ? Is, they have that up there. What's that? And NJB was like a league we had down here in, in nah, Orange County. Man, that shit, man. Oh, okay. I wish I wasn't allowed to play city stuff. I just wasn't allowed. I was locked in my room. I just didn't listen. It was to protect me. My dad made me a man. That's what he did. It all worked out, bro. Yeah. 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 Look at you, made me a man, bro. Yeah. Straight up. Look at you. First of all, listen. Let me Gary, stop talking, Gary. Dude. Hey. Appreciate. You. Love you, bro. Love you too. Bro. Appreciate you. And man. keep hydrated. Looking, we got the. Here he goes. Got a Yeti sponsor. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And here, wear these uh, Nine Club Stance socks proudly. You know, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, uh, mm-hmm. look at that Nine Club. Nice Nine Club hoodie. hoodie. You like that? It's small, but we'll we'll, we'll give we you. We'll give you the logo small. The logo oh, is logo. small. We'll give it you a big blast. Look, hey, look at that. should put a big ass nine across that bitch. We look got look. a we got another one. We'll give you okay. big old nine club. Yeah. You want that? But show nah. them the back then. You don't want that. <laughs> I'd rather have this. <laughs> Why? Because this is what you picked out for me. Okay. This is my this calling. Is Here, okay. Thank you. You don't want to show them the back? Oh, show them the back. Look at the back. Pause. Look at the back. Yo, touch the back, man. <laughs> think it's just an orange square yeah. <laughs> Boom. it says nine club on the back there it is very smaller than you <laughs> <laughs> where my socks at bro I just get my nose on I'm like Gary we got to huh. come Gary. back anytime yeah, appreciate you no, hey I'm not <laughs> what I'm not coming back please no I'm not not like in a bad way okay. like in a very like I'm very thankful yeah I'm not doing no interview for the rest of my well, life. We want to come back come and hang out. You're gonna end it. You're just gonna end it with hit this one. This uh, is it. This is the last okay. time I'm gonna this see. The last time. No, hell no, oh. bro. I got a ball with you. Okay. You the homie okay. and shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You come back on my show. Yeah. Um, if we do like stopping chats or like anything like streaming, if y'all want me, I'm always like a yeah, ear for y'all. Like, for like tight. Tight. y'all yeah. all have. You feel me? Drawn not as much, but like basically, y'all. Mm-hmm. You know, y'all two have really tried to watch my back and be like cool with me and like you feel me try to tell me and talk to me in the right way you feel me i mm-hmm. wish i would have had that because i wanted to ask you something before i get out of here what is your involvement with diamond <laughs> um co-owner but i had to leave that that situation like five years ago four four and a half years ago but when it sold was you a part of that it never sold it's still the same it's still the same. It's it's, it's dead. You started that it's with Nick at the, at the at the moment. You started that with Nick. I bought into it in two thousand nine, right before everything popped off, popped off with Wiz and all that shit. Yeah, and you 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 lived. I'm, we're not gonna talk about your money, but yeah. you was it was good for you. Oh, um, I, yeah, I did. He made a little. He made over fifty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> he made over fifty bucks. I did. I did. I'm Let's very go. happy with that that uh, investment. There we go. All right, I just had to ask that. I appreciate that, bro. I'm trying to get to them levels, man. I want to do you this, on your way, man. I want to do this grip tape shit. Uh, maybe not though, because the thing is, is I might have made myself a villain for kids. No, no. hey, Dude. bro, you, see, you saying that with you saying that with high belief and grace for me. At the same time, I say a lot of jokes. So kids might not actually know that I'm trying to save everybody, help everybody, create good things, build good things. Mm -hmm. I hope they understand that I actually do have good intentions because if I'm roasting people, you might think that I just think I'm better than or I'm thinking Mm -hmm. people are less. I I can um, see. Besides pushing for pink, my things might suffer. My personal things might suffer just for people to want to actually have a chance to be like, we're not buying that. We don't support that. You thought you was funny all them years. And I would love that. I would love that karma. I, it's even better. But it's not cool. It's not cool. Yo, if, I, if I just failed. <laughs> what the? That sinister laugh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> what if I just failed? <laughs> and I was just broke. <laughs> Yo, I think you need to take him home, man. Yeah, yeah. I think you need to take him home, man. He has a golf cart. Oh, yes? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I 
I don't want to win. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs>